hearts are yearning for a miracle. And of course, our faith is soaring high like eagles on high as we anticipate Apostle Johnson Suleiman bringing to us the powerful message of hope and emancipation. It is Ebenezer 2024. I am excited, yes, and this is the ministry's 20th anniversary. Yes, I am excited. It's been 20 years of fulfilling God's mandate. It's been 20 years of, you know, blessing lives, reaching out to people, millions of people all around the world. You know, one thing the Bible tells us, Jesus was speaking to a nobleman in John 4 verse 48. He said, if they do not see the signs and wonders, they would not believe. Now, without a doubt, the signs and wonders of God is resident here in Omega Fire Ministry. You cannot call the name Omega Fire Ministry without proof of miracle, without proof of your blessing. You know, Omega Children Worldwide, we are enjoying the benefits of being, you know, children of Christ. We are enjoying, we are reaping the benefits of being you know, rooted in the word of God. With me in the field is Monsio Quetta Bellis. Merci, Queen Lee. Uh, nous sommes ici au Centre d'Adoration International d'Omega Fire Ministries. Et comme vous le savez, c'est Ebenezer 2024. Et avec, uh, sous le thème, les signes et les prodiges. Et par la grâce de Dieu, euh, beaucoup de personnes sont rassemblées de par le monde, dans l'Afrique, en euh, Amérique, euh, en Europe. Euh, ils sont là pour recevoir la bénédiction du Seigneur, pour recevoir ces choses que le Seigneur a déposées, a désignées pour eux dans ce programme. Donc, nous rendons grâce au Seigneur pour ce qui va se passer ici tout au long de la semaine. Et n'oubliez pas de rester connecté parce que aussi, nous célébrons la 20e anniversaire du ministère Omega Fire Ministries. Yes, we're still celebrating the 20th anniversary of Omega Fire Ministries. You know, one good thing about being a part of Omega Fire Ministries is the devil will not dare you. In fact, the troublemakers in your surroundings, they dare not come close and try to, you know, test you because once they know this person is an Omega child, they give way. Omega children are enjoying God's grace and favor worldwide. And this is made possible. We are all here. We are all proud to call ourselves Omega Children because a man answered the call. Now, we are going to be taking a few interviews and also we are going to be walking down memory lane. It's been 20 years, yes. And we are going to be throwing it back a little bit. Not a little bit, you know, we're going to be throwing it back to where the ministry started now. Let's speak with a few people so they can tell us what, you know, what they expect during this conference. Et maintenant, nous allons recevoir euh, deux personnes qui sont très chères. Euh, ils, sont aussi, ils sont nos invités. Ils sont venus euh, aussi pour partager, pour, euh, pour recevoir de, de, de ce que le Seigneur a déposé pour eux. Dans ce programme, nous avons la première personne. Bienvenue mon frère. Euh, comment je vous appelle Ici, je m'appelle David James. David James, euh, d'où Je quitte la République du Bénin. Ok, de la République du Bénin. Et est-ce que c'est votre première fois de venir ici au Centre d'adoration international d'Omega Fire Ministries Non, non, non. J'ai déjà l'habitude de venir. Okay. Maintenant, vous êtes venu pour euh, Ebenezer. Qu est que, quelle est votre attente pour ce programme Ebenezer Franchement, je suis là parce que j'ai beaucoup d'espérance. Et j'aimerais avoir une rencontre inhabituelle dans ma vie. Euh, David James dit qu'il veut recevoir une rencontre inhabituelle dans sa vie. Nous avons une deuxième personne. Merci beaucoup, David James. Nous avons... Euh, comment est-ce que je vous appelle Je m'appelle Newton. Okay, Newton, euh, le frère Newton. Donc, vous êtes ici. Est-ce que c'est votre première fois d'assister à ce programme euh, Ebenezer oui, c'est ma première fois d'assister à ce programme, Ebenezer, pour Science and Wonders. Oh, ok. Euh, maintenant, nous sommes à, à la 20e anniversaire du ministère Omega. Quelle est votre ton, ton attente, tes attentes? Est-ce que tu peux parler aussi à la caméra? Quelles sont tes attentes pour ce programme euh, exceptionnel? Oui, j'ai des grandes attentes ce soir par rapport à ce programme. Et pour moi, c'est un privilège d'assister pour la toute première fois à ce programme. Et mes attentes, c'est contacter la grâce et le manteau prophétique qui est sur la vie de notre Père et 
entrer dans la dimension des signes et des prodiges dans le ministère. Merci beaucoup. Euh, il dit que ses attentes, c'est contacter la grâce prophétique et entrer dans le surnaturel et à par les choses qu'il va recevoir dans ce programme euh, Ebenezer 2024. Merci beaucoup, mon frère. Et euh, nous, sommes, nous, nous avons beaucoup d'autres personnes, mais maintenant, nous, avons, nous allons écouter notre, euh, notre présentatrice, euh, Quinsley. Euh, Est-ce que tu peux, elle, elle peut continuer avec la présentation N'oubliez pas, bien aimé, que nous sommes au début du programme Ebenezer 2024. Yes, in case you're wondering why the French, you know, Omega Fire Ministry is a universal church. Ergo, the French translation, we are, a, you know, a diverse community. We have people from all parts of the world. That's to tell you how fast Omega Fire Ministry has grown and how fast it is growing. Right now, the video you are about to set your eyes on is a video, just a short clip. You know, like I said, we're going to be going down memory lane. This is a short clip, you know, of the apostle speaking about how he conquered this land. This land in Auchi, Edo State, Nigeria. This land where Omega Fire Ministry is currently situated. In case you're wondering where the word Auchi to the world was coined up from, this will give you a clue. Watch your screen, guys. I came to... I came to Aochi armed with two things. Two things. I came to Aochi armed with my Bible and armed with a body of intercession. I went around. God told me all the corners of demonic oppression. And I went around those corners for seven nights. I went around the AP station seven nights doing a vigil. I said, Lord, this land, I've conquered it. Not only have I conquered the land, anyone that passes through this place by mystic, by coincidence or by incident or by accident, Lord, they will know Jesus. This land will bow to Jesus. I say, Lord, in my time, Christianity will receive a new color. People will become proud to be Christians. Seven solid days, I was going around without food, without water. I said, this land is for Christ. And I began to pray in tongues for seven days. When I was true I went to ear here for seven days moved around like a madman when vigilante people see me and they are coming closer they yell back at to 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 they start moving backward repayata and when they are coming closer some of them have their guns some have their touch lighter stop there stop there I look at them with my bible le palata mekoto they say ah this one is coming like a machine gun and they begin to step back I I see I've taken over the land, not just the land. Lord, all those who are hiding, all those who don't want to go to church, bring them out of their hiding places. And today the story has changed. Am I talking to somebody? It's time to intercede. The Bible says in Job chapter 42 and verse 10, and God answered the prayer of Job when he prayed for his friend. God turned his captivity and God gave him twice. He said when he prayed for his friends, God gave him twice as much as he had before. Let me tell somebody, open your mouth and intercede. Thank you, Father. What was impossible with man has become possible with God. Amen. Let me tell five persons, my time has come. Say that to five people. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. Say that to somebody. Right, don't sit down. Rise on your feet. My time has come. My time has come. I was in Agbo. I started my first church in Agbo. It did not grow. You know, I'll tell you the truth. Church didn't grow because I was running from Auchi. I was in Agbo. My father gave me 10,000. <laughs> he gave me 10,000 naira. He said, take. I went there. I bought bench. I bought Koga band. I bought the mic, those kind of microphone you use with FM. You on radio. Say, praise God. You don't move too much. Shh. Shh. You, you remember that? Uh, so if you are seeing crowd, I've passed through something. I'm coming. And I will, I will be the one to paste the whole ambi by myself. I'll paste all the ambi. I'll be the one to open prayer. 
praise and worship, take announcement, preach, take offering. As I'm taking offering, I'm the one that holds the bowl. Amen? Amen. Children of God, the microphone is in my mouth. That's when you start hearing, eh? Children of God, eh? <laughs> no instrument, that's why you hear, your hands. Your hands. Your hands. It was that generation. So I hold the bowl like that. I will pass through. Mm-mm. I will hold it and I will pass through like that. One day, church grew. We we're doing program where many were seven. They're laughing. We we're seven. I was happy. Seven. I was jumping. God now gave us two committed sisters. One of them is still in Omega. She's an Omega child in Agbo Church. Another one, he has traveled abroad. And that one, that one has. I don't know. One brother called Timothy that was there. One sister was there. One of the sisters, I was in church praying for a major program. Major, that program brought crowd when 19. Crowd. 19 of us. Worldwide. <laughs> so, 19 of us, that night was, hey, I saw 19 people. I manifested. I, I ministered. If I delivered, they already delivered. I ministered, even those who already delivered, I still delivered them. I ministered my life. 90 people, ah, cloud. I finished. So I didn't go home. I was happy. God, thank you for bringing them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do you know even that my condition, pastors were envying me. So it, it, that's why now I'm not touched because I now have reason why they should envy me. If I didn't have reason and you envy me, then I would think. But now, carry on. So then, see envy. They had instruments I didn't have. I was meeting a primary school, one of the classes, no window. So, but, but some members used to enter through the window, they just. I am here to announce the year 2012. Oh, from this day, oh, anyone sent to kill you, that death will backfire. Anyone sent to kill you, that death will backfire. I said, the death will backfire. I said, the death will backfire. A man endowed with a rare kind of spiritual doggedness, armed with his Bible and the burden for intercession. The man, Apostle Jensen Suleiman. Now, the next clip you're about to set your eyes on is a clip where the Apostle shares his struggle during the early life in ministry, how he went to Agbo to start a ministry. If I let me not say too much, just see the video. Exodus 22, 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. I'm preaching briefly on that witch must die. Tell seven people that witch must die. Tell seven people that witch must die. Preach that to seven people say that witch must die. I come in the volume. I come with a rumble in the temple. I come with anger in my system to make a decree over the life of specific individuals and families. I came to speak against the oppression of witchcraft. I came to speak against satanic cohorts. I came to speak against evil arrangements. And I came by the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't know where they operate from. But that which must take your seats. The Bible says, Thou shalt not suffer. Terminating witchcraft is not an advice, it's a command. Once you become a child of God, it's your duty to stop wickedness anywhere you see it. In 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 22, Joram, Joram met Jehu and said, Jehu, where have you been? Are you still around? And Jehu said, no, I'm not going anywhere until I exterminate Jezebel and her witchcraft. 
So Job was saying, the reason I'm around is because I will not leave. I will not go anywhere until I see that witchcraft expires. In other words, he said, until I finish Jezebel and a witchcraft. So the strength of Jezebel was a witchcraft. In Micah chapter 5 verse 12, God says, I will cut off witchcraft and there will be no more soothsayer. I will cut off witchcraft, there will be no more soothsayer. So the strength of soothsayers is what? Witchcraft. There are some people that are bragging and priding. And the reason they are bragging and priding is because they have a witch behind them. They have a witch supporting them. I'm here to say to you that the power of the Holy Ghost, that the witch must die. When you see a person John Suleiman making waves, not just waves, big waves in the media scene. You know, it didn't just start today. A man that was tagged the witch slayer back in those days, you know, we thank God for where he has brought us as an Omega Fire Ministry family. Now, I have a distinguished gentleman standing beside me. Let's hear from him his expectations about the Ebenezer. Hello. What's your name and where you've come from? I'm Dickie Francis Enaimo. I'm from Bedou State, precisely Auchi. Okay, good. Now, now that you've come for Ebenezer 2024, what are your expectations? Wow. Wow. A lot of expectation. Number one, coming to know Jesus more and more. And I know our Father in the Lord God has been with him. He is a man that moved by the Holy Ghost. In this Ebenezer 2024, which is our anniversary in 20 years, I know that God has been doing wonders in this church. Unstoppable miracle. Miracle, oh, miracle beyond miracles. You see, lame walk, depth, yeah. Life transform, particularly I myself and my family we are a partaker. I came to Omega as a single man, but today I'm married. Through this commission, I got my job. Through this commission, got car, so many things. So this Ebenezer, I'm here with heavy expectation because I know the God that I'll be doing it will do wonder in this Ebenezer. I urge everyone out there to come and join us, to come and celebrate with us, to come and share what God has done in Omega. So this Ebenezer, I believe God Almighty, the lay will work, the depth will hear, those that are looking for jobs will get their jobs by the grace of God, through the, the set man. Hallelujah. Now we've heard from one of the people who have come for Ebenezer 2024, the 20th anniversary of Omega Fire Ministry. You know, 20 years is not, it's not cheap. Despite all the trials and tribulation, look at God. Look at where God has brought us now. Right now, you know, I'm going to pass the torch on to Monsieur Quetabelis. Ok, nous sommes là, nous sommes toujours là avec vous, chers téléspectateurs, et c'est à 2024, nous avons d'autres personnes, merveilleuses personnes, qui sont venues euh, tout de l'Afrique de l'Ouest, et c'est un homme de Dieu et, son, et sa charmante épouse. My name is Apostle uh, Prince Miracle Tiakba, and this is my wife. All right, Aminata Tiakba. We are the privileged senior pastor of the Global Rescue Power Ministry located in Pinsville Rehab, Monrovia, Liberia. I am a privileged son of my father, Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman, and I'm so excited to be here in Ebenezer 2024. I started attending Ebenezer 2024 since 2018, and I can remember last year, Ebenezer 2023, I was located by Papa, and he spoke a prophetic war in my life, and since that time, my life and ministry have not been the same. And I'm so excited because this Ebenezer 2024 is signs and wonders. And the fact that I am on this altar of my father being interviewed by Celebration TV is an indication that my son and wonder have started. So I'm so grateful and I'm so excited, sir. So, Ma, what are you expecting from God? Ma, let, me, let us hear from you. 
Thank you so much, sir. I'm expecting so much for our country and our ministry. And I pray that the hand of God, what God is using in this ministry through the servant of God, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, and our mommy. And I pray that that same thing will locate our nation and our ministry in Jesus' name. Gloire à Dieu, Amen. Nous voyons comment euh, nos invités de l'Afrique de l'Ouest nous euh, parlent vraiment avec joie. L'homme de Dieu dit que l'apôtre de la restauration l'a localisé l'année passée pendant le Ebenezer 2023 et a parlé de, des paroles prophétiques dans sa vie et cela a produit des fruits dans sa vie. C'est pour cela qu'il est là aujourd'hui avec son épouse pour cette édition de 2024. C'est vraiment merveilleux ce que le Seigneur fait. Dans, euh, 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 ici à, euh, au Centre d'Adoration Internationale d'Omega Fire Ministries par la grâce de Dieu. N'oubliez pas, restez scotchés, nous, sommes, nous avons commencé et nous sommes en train de, déjà de jouir de, de, de ces choses que le Seigneur a, a promis de faire dans notre vie. N'oubliez pas que c'est des signes et des prodiges. Nous rendons grâce au Seigneur. Still on interviews, I have uh an opulent gentleman standing beside me. Please come closer. So now, I want you to tell, tell me, tell us, what is that encounter with God you've had since coming in contact with Omega Fire Ministry? Um, first of all, I'm really excited to be here because there's always, each time when you come here, there's great expectations of God doing mighty, mind-blowing miracles. As I'm speaking to you, I can't just eat, contain my happiness. God has been doing awesome things with the man of God. Of course, we have seen a lot of things that God has been doing. The eyes of the blind open, the ears of the deaf open, even the dead are raised. See, I just can't tell you how happy I am to be here. I'm so excited. Yeah, we are all excited now. Tell me. Just not in detail, but you can just, you know, scratch the head. What is your expectation? What is that thing you put in your prayer point that you know that because you are here today for Ebenezer, God is going to answer? Come on, tell us. Manifest your testimony. Funny enough, it's not just what you, you are expecting. Because even what you are not expecting, you are still going to receive. Have you heard what I'm saying? This is the place to be. You see, I am here because I know that I'm going to go home with a lot of package. The Holy Ghost is here. Ebenezer is another super time to be with God. And I know that this is my time. My time has come. And God is going to do a lot of things. Hallelujah. Just like you said, whether you expect it or not, whether you want it or not, that blessing is going to come for you just by being connected to this Ebenezer 2024. Now, Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman are going to be ministering, and we also have a guest speaker, the person of Dr. Chidi Okora, for a man who is, you know, well grounded in the Word of God. He's going to be blessing us in this 20th anniversary of Omega Fire Ministry. Now, let's see another video, throwing it back to memory lane. Ware, ware, who's ware? Ware. Who is that one? Ware. Ware. You, come. Winnie. Winnie Fred. Winnie. Yes, ware, Winnie Fred. Ay, yes, ay, ay, ay. Let me pray. Forget blood matter. Oh. Forget blood, because this is a miracle. On your wedding day, this now this is you thinking of blood problem. The, the problem come. Problem I see. I see a wedding card. Hmm? I see a wedding card. It's not printed yet, but I'll tell you. I see a wedding card. I see this guest's wedding card. It's supposed to be printed next year, March. I see a wedding card. They have not picked a date, oh, but I'm telling them the date they are going for. They have not picked a date. But look at this. This guy is looking at me. I see your wedding card. I see March. I see 2013. How will she believe me? I see Winnie Fred wed Akin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Akin Lolu yes, sir. on Latin Day. Yes, sir. 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 Y
wait, 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 wait. I see the wedding in Lokoja. Lokoja. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you, Lord. Come, 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 come. Can I do what I was born to do? Sister, your wedding, I will buy you a cow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. I call prophecy. I call it the supernatural AI because it's it's so ethereal. Yes, it is ethereal. It is so you know breathtaking that God can speak to someone to tell someone you know that thing that will lead them to their deliverance. God can minister to a person, His vessel, to administer deliverance to someone else. It's still Ebenezer 2024, the 20th anniversary happening right here in Omega Fire Ministries HQ. Now, just in case you, you know, couldn't make it here to be, you know, here live and direct, you can always connect live via Celebration TV network or via our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Celebration TV. On YouTube, we are Celebration TV. We are going to be streaming all the services live as usual. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you before we wrap this up is what is your expectation? What is that petition you have, you know, put down for God? What are you expecting? What is the demand you are placing in the spirit for this um, Ebenezer conference? What is that thing you want God to do for you? Best believe God is going to answer your prayers. I am Sherry Quinsley Brimer. Et n'oubliez pas que nous sommes à Ebenezer 2024 avec le thème « Signes et les prodiges » et je suis Quetta Bellis. Now we're going to be seeing the aerial view of Omega Fire Ministries. 20 years, the ministry is growing and it still is growing, yes. And this is because of the grace of God. Omega Fire Ministry is the definition of « If God be for you » who can be against you nobody that devil has not yet been born we are grateful to god we are thankful we are happy we are excited that god has brought omega fire ministry this far and we are proud to call ourselves omega children yes now as you can see this is a beautiful scenery the environment is so you know it's pleasing to the eye Et comme vous, nous, euh, comme vous pouvez voir, euh, voilà euh, maintenant ce que le Seigneur a fait à Omega Fire Ministries après 20 ans, 20 ans des combats, 20 ans euh, euh, des montagnes, 20 ans de traversée par euh, beaucoup de choses. Mais le Seigneur nous a gardés et nous sommes fiers d'être appelés enfants d'Omega Fire Ministries euh, sous la couverture de l'apôtre Johnson et le docteur euh, Lizzie Suleiman. Yes, at this juncture, I have to tell you, the word is ever fresh. The power is ever potent. Just as the team for Ebenezer 2024 says, signs and wonders. Best believe your miracle is going to fall on your laps just by connecting to this conference. Stay connected. We'll see you. Restez connectés. Nous sommes ici à Omega Fire Ministries. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse.
Elohim Azar, the Lord who is my helper. Pack it! Signs and wonders. Rise. Go. Power. Go. Miracle power. Papa, she's running. In the mighty name of Jesus. Walk. She said for the past three she weeks. She was on a wheelchair. She could not walk like this. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eyes open. You can see. Ebenezer 2024 20th anniversary. I see an idol that they sacrifice human beings to. Who is Choma? Choma is my first daughter. I see Choma on a journey on the road. I see a little baby between eight and nine months. And a So Jensen and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman, also ministering evangelist Dr. Chidi Okorafo. The man with a dream is voluntarily deaf until the dream is accomplished. Date 6 through 11 February 2024 by 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. Happening at the International Worship Center, Omega Fire Ministries, Kilometer 132, Benino, Kenya, Buja Expressway, Auchi, Doe State, Nigeria. For inquiries, please call. It shall be supernatural. London, the capital of England and the United Kingdom. Who is in Istanbul? I saw someone in jail. Yes, I saw. A girl accused him. Yes, it's true. The girl said he raped her. Yes. Your son did not rape her. He's innocent, but yes. he's in prison. Yeah, for three years the, now. Huh? For three years now. Three years. But madam, I'm telling you that God is releasing your son. <laughs> Hello, great people. God bless you. I'm coming to the United Kingdom for a most explosive meeting like I've never seen before. On the 13th and 14th of the month of February, where's the place to be? Be with me at the Lighthouse at Camberwell for two days of glory with mind-blowing kingdom manifestation of the power of God. Look at the power! Look at the power of the Holy Ghost! Power! 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 Intimacy 2024, London, UK. I'll be there live and direct with my husband. Awesome God! Awesome God! We are going to be having a wonderful time in God's presence. It's going to be an unforgettable experience. Now, look at this. I command you, run. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now, you just looking like that. This for three years. I'm coming with Dr. Lizzie. And we are going to be a blessing to the nation of the UK. I, I want you to tell your friend, tell everybody you can tell. Take these two days of work, 13th, 14th of the month of February. We are going to be in London. We are coming to London because of you. Because the Lord has said concerning you, your time has come. Also ministry, Ebuka song. I'm about to be waiting to hear the voice of my commander. The time is 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. daily. Happening at the Lighthouse, Camberwell, 262274, Camberwell, London, SE50 DP. For inquiries and to be part of a local organizing committee, please call the following numbers. Fresh. And God said, By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree your help, will send for you. I will restore one to you. Yes, the caterpillar had eaten. Experience life transforming atmosphere of miracles. Two days of divine outpour. The more you pray, the more you want to pray. Intimacy 2024, Accra, Ghana. Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I want to invite you to a special crusade that's coming up in the Republic of Ghana. February is going to be outstanding. It will not end without your testimony. In the terms of the spirit, I saw you in a particular establishment where you have resigned. And I saw somebody who was upset. Something was buried on the seat you sat. Something entered your faculties and stayed in your womb, waited for the conception. And now there's a contest for that. But this is what God said I should tell you. You will not die. Your baby will not die. 
Messi 2024, Accra, Ghana. 27 and 28 of the month of February. Be my guest. By 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. daily. The venue is at Efwa Sutherland Children's Park, Accra, Ghana. Also ministering Ebuka songs. I am a soldier at the back. Steve Divine. This great river never runs dry. For inquiries and to be part of the local organizing committee, please call the following number. Come see the glory of God. Jesus! Cameroon. Hello, great people of Cameroon. God bless you. I hope this message meets you well. I am coming to your nation in the power of the Holy Spirit. What is happening? Papa, for one year, this man has been on crutches. She has been paralyzed for over two months. She couldn't walk without the use of the walking aid. For 14 years, she could not walk. Now she can dance. She's bouncing she can run. This man has been paralyzed for over 38 years. He is by the power of God. Bouncing like a youth, Papa. I'm coming from on the 5th to on the 6th of the month of March. And on the 7th, there's going to be a quick minister's conference that will change and transform your life. I saw myself in your family. I'm not seeing father. He's dead. I'm He's looking at seen. mother. And I saw myself travel to America. I saw one. What? I saw two, six, seven, seven, eight, 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 nine. Eight children. No, it's nine. One died. One died. It's supposed to be seven because one is a set of twins. Twins, the last born. Be my guest. Tell everyone you can tell. Start now and tell them that Johnson Suleiman is coming to Cameroon 5th and 6th March 2024 7th of March Ministers Conference 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily Monaco Stadium Boya Cameroon for inquiries and to be part of the local organizing committee please call the following numbers in the name of Jesus intimacy comes to Cameroon I'll see you there You are the great I am. Lift up your two words. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, you are the mighty God. You are the greater, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Lift up your voice. Oh, Mighty God, you are the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, you are the great I am. Hallelujah. For the last time. You are the mighty, you are the great, the great I am. Shatayata Katabarata. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let me hear that amen like thunder. While you are still standing, let's appreciate my spiritual parents. Join me and appreciate them for this. Great privilege. You can do better than that. Are you ready to pray? If there is a man to pray. If there is a man to pray. If there is a man to pray. We are going to talk to God. One of the greatest. Listen. One of the greatest reward. Anybody can ever enjoy. Is favor from God. La faveur de Dieu. Favor from God. La faveur. In Luke chapter 2, verse 52, the Bible says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. And he was with favor with God. Favor. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 26, he said, And the Lord was with the child Samuel. And he was with favor with God. Amen. One of the things favor does, favor connects you to the right man. Oh Lord, in this Ebenezer 2024, by your favor, connect me to the right man. 
by your favor connect me to the right man by your favor connect me to the right man lift up your right hand of fire say my father my father say in the name of jesus as i begin to pray now in this Ebenezer conference by your favor connect me to the right man clap your hands and fire prayer Yata, eta katoya, ragada 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 ragada
You cannot attend a conference like this and remain the same. It's not possible. It's not possible. Are you ready to pray? Listen, there's what they call at at testimony garments. That even if everybody testify, there are powers that hinder certain people from testifying. Even if everybody are located, there are powers that hinder certain people from being located. Anti testimony garment. Anti testimony garment. Whatever that follows my brother to this place. To hinder him of his miracle. Whatever. When I say fire prayer, you will take it loud and clear. Say, My Father, my Father. Say in the name of Jesus. Every power that follows my brother, that follows my sister, to hinder his blessing, to rob him of his miracle. Aspire by fire. Go ahead and fire prayer now. Fire prayer now. Can you open your voice and begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Just open your mouth and begin to raise sound of worship to Him. Open your mouth and begin to raise sound of worship to Him tonight. Call Him the names you know how to call Him. Just appreciate him, appreciate him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Bless his holy name. Thank him for today. Thank him. Thank you, thank you, Lord. about it. 
When the enemies they come like a flood against me, yeah. When my enemies they come like a flood against me, they won't put me for gota. You show them to Omega. That is why you're my God, my Ebenezer. Now you they keep me home. You tell me to make a no worry. You tell me to make a no fear at all at all. No.
Hallelujah. Let's rise to our feet. Let's rise to our feet. Package your offerings. Hallelujah. Welcome to Ebenezer 2024. Hallelujah. Omega Fire Ministries is 20 years. Let's lift up our offerings above our heads. Father, we thank you for an opportunity to give unto you. We ask, O oh God, that by your mercy you accept our offerings and accept us today in the name of Jesus. May this Ebenezer 2024 be uh, a program to be remembered in the name of Jesus Christ. May testimonies follow us all the days of our lives. By reason of our encounter, we will see in this program. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. Somebody that is happy to be here this evening. Give.
we do this? Uh, say, open the you come the way. You have come the way. You have come. You have come. Open the you take my soul. You have done, 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 done. You have done, 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 done. You have come the way. Open the you come the, come the, come. You have come. You have come. Somebody scream. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. We are going to take this place into a second level this now. Who is ready to travel to Afe Mala with me? Let me see you. You say, Marcelile, oh, Marcelile. Marcelile, oh, Marcelile. Zaiki, okay, no, you're in Bokui. Marcelile, Zaiki, okay, no, you're in Bokui. Everybody, you say, Marcelile. I can see you. You say, you say, Zaiki. Let me teach you, say, Marcelile, oh, Marcelile. It's a lile, oh, it's a lile. It's a lile, okay, no, you're a queen. It's a lile, Zaiki, okay, no, you're a queen. Everybody, you say, it's a lile, oh, it's a Hey, you say, you say, you say, it's by me, you're a no, okay, now, you say, It's your turn for a visitation. Miracles! Look at the wheelchair. He can see. My God is here. For four years, he's been sitting on this wheelchair. He can walk to the glory of God. Intimacy 2024, Lusaka, Zambia. Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Intimacy 2024 train comes to the nation of Zambia. I am believing God for a great time as we come to the Woodland Stadium in Lusaka, Zambia. Be my guest in these two days of great, great move 
of the Holy Spirit. Hey! Power! Power! There's going to be a session for ministers and there are going to be four sessions in the crusade. The Lord said to tell you, everyone that will be attending this crusade, your time has come. I'll see you in Zambia. Date, 12th 13th March 2024. The time is 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily. Also ministering live, a book of songs. I am a soldier at the battlefield, waiting to hear the voice of my commander. Steve Divine. No matter how I drink, no matter how I fetch, this great river never runs dry. Funkwaris, please cool. I see the glory of God. To our beloved lovers of Apostle Johnson Suleiman and extinct followers of Omega Fire Ministries, get ready for an unprecedented spiritual invasion coming your way in 2024. Brace yourselves for a powerful outpouring of the Spirit and power as the man of God invades. Asia continent, Al Kuwait in Kuwait, Jakarta, Indonesia, Manila in Philippines, Pakistan, New Delhi, India, Manama, Bahrain, Tokyo, Japan, Yerevan in Armenia, Hanoi in Vietnam. Prepare your hearts for an extraordinary encounter as Apostle Johnson Suleiman takes Asia by storm for inquiries.
There is deep breathing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that soldier with a bulletproof. Dead man. There is deep breathing. No. That Christian without Jesus Christ. You are a dead man. There is deep breathing. No. If you are a Christian without Jesus Christ. You are a dead Christian. There is deep breathing. No. If you are a sister without Jesus Christ, you are a dead sister that is still pretty. No? Jesus, give me all of you. Give me all of you and take all of me away. Jesus, give me all of you. Give me all of you and take all of me away. Jesus, give me all of you. Give me all of you and take all of me away. A soldier with a bulletproof is a dead man that is still pretty. A soldier with a bulletproof, you are a dead man that is still pretty. No. If you are that Christian without Jesus Christ, you are a dead Christian. That is deep breathing. Lift up your hands. Tell him to give all of you. Tell him. Speak to your father. Speak to your father. You are all I need. Speak to your father. The five laws are ready. The two fishes are here. Father, multiply. Oh. Five laws are ready. The two fishes are here. Father, multiply. Oh. Uh -huh. Nations are hungry. Thousands are hungry. I want to feed the thousands. Uh, I am, uh, multiply, multiply. I am ready to be used. I am ready to be used. Men are hungry. They are looking for those that will feed them. Until God multiply, multiply your gifting. You cannot go anywhere. Ask Jesus to multiply you. Come on, raise up your voice. <laughs> Bring it down. Bring it down. Tell him. The five love are ready. The two fishes are here. Father, multiply. Raise it loud. The five love are ready. The two fishes are ready. Father, multiply. My gifting is ready. Everything is ready. But Jesus, multiply so that I can affect my world. Come on, raise up your voice. On the man. The five love. The five love are ready. The five love. The two fishes. Father, multiply. Empress is a multi-talented gospel artist based in the city of Potak of Nigeria. Is also a multi-instrumentalist, music director, songwriter, businessman, a music promoter, pastor, and a loving husband, blessed with two children. Empress started his music career in 1990 as a chorister in the church and has over 25 years of experience in music industry. He has been performing for over two decades within and outside Nigeria with various notable international artists, Ty Tribet. Ron Kennelly, Bob Fitz, Ivan Slaughter, Mika Samplin, and Baron Cage, just to mention a few. He has also performed with Nigeria artists Sam Oposo, Sam Song, Eben, Frank Edwards, Sinatch, Midnight Crew, etc. Empress is further the coordinator of Empress.
Go ahead and celebrate Jesus in the house. Come on, everybody. Give him all the praise. He keeps working towards his dream, and as a result, he has two album studios, to his credit, and three live recorded concerts. John Suleiman, please, can you rise on your feet and celebrate this great man of God? Thank you, Papa. God bless you. And celebrate our mother in the house. God bless you, Mama Lizzie. We love you. Raise those things and bless the name of Jesus. Please, I need a choir to help me. Please, can I have some of the choir members help me and just sing. Adi go yekinaya nachia September last year and we are about to release a song so I'm going to sing the song before we release the song I'm going to sing it here now. very simple choir you can join I teach you the song that we go into the song very simple Yahweh Yahweh you are worthy of my I praise Yahweh, Yahweh, you are worthy of my praise. Yahweh, 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 you are worthy.
Sing it one more time. Somebody give God some praise in the house tonight. Come on, everybody. There is grace in this house. There is a grace that is working. Hold on, hold on. There is a grace that works in the house. Maybe you don't know it. The reason I'm here is because of the grace. You can celebrate Jesus. You know, Papa was in my church 18 years ago. 19 years ago. 19 years ago. I was a director in the church at that time. And he picked me and he spoke a word into my life. So three years after, that word came to pass. But I couldn't see him one on one. Not until late last year. We now met in America, not in Nigeria. Not in Ouch, not, not, not in Port Harcourt, where he came to my church. And, he, and, I, I, and I shared my story with him. He was, he was so blessed. And he said, come over. Come and bless us with that grace. I. So please celebrate Jesus in the life of our papa in the house. I, I need you to do something. You will shout according to the amount of money you want in your account. Are you ready? Somebody give God some praise and shout. My God. My God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, first, wait. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You will still shout. You will shout. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. What, the reason why you need to shout. Listen. Listen. If you, at the end of this meeting today, you just take your phone 
and you take your test message and a lot of 20 million just enter how will you shout how will you somebody this is how we are going to praise God for the next 10 minutes because as you praise God a lot will be dropping on your phone I am not saying what I don't know I am saying that it's a grace that will drop money in your account tonight now let me teach you this song choir join me when I say anytime I come to your presence not to give you the praise Let me do it again. That's one of our songs. Anytime I come to your presence, not to give you the praise. Anytime I come to your presence, not to give you the praise. Is somebody ready to give God a loud shout of praise? Come on, let's go. Where are my princess in the house? Come on, let's go. Let's go. I am 
a soldier had a part to be waiting to hear the voice of a commander Jesus. Oh.
Lift your hands. This is our way to the Somebody with Jesus, lift up your voice and shout! Is the Holy Ghost inside of me that is giving me victory? This I know. This I know. I am lost in His presence. Now I'm liberated with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. Search my heart. Search my mind.
spirit just pray in the spirit for one pray in the spirit pray in the spirit Friend the spirit. Jesus name. Thank you. Thank you. And thou art one. Thou to receive glory, honor, and power for. And for thy pleasure, yeah, oh. from east to west, no other God from not to. See. There is no other God from east to west. No other God, not to sound. As we lift our hands before you as a token of our love. Holy, holy, holy. As we lift our hands before you as a token of our love.
Just pray in the spirit one more time. It pays to serve Jesus. I'll speak for me. He will always be with you if you do your part. There's nothing this wide world can ever afford. There's peace and contentment in serving the Lord. At the cross, at the cross, and my soul will love and my righteous soul shall find peace beyond the reef. At the cross, at the cross, and master we ever my righteous soul shall find rest. At the center of it all is you that I see. It's you that I see at the center of it all. At the center of it all. It's you that I see. You that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. As the leaves of voice and praise, as the leaves of voice and say, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. There is power in your name, there is power in your name. Miracles are in your name. I should lead the voice in praise. I should lead the voice in praise. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. One more time. There is power in your name. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. As the lift our voice and praise, as the lift our voice and praise, you see you that I see, you see you that I see. Father, we are hungry and we are ready. Throw your weight around and prove to the devil that you are the boss. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a clap offering as we open this night. Clap your hands, everybody. Hallelujah. You may be seated. We want to open the service tonight and believe God that with God, you know, there are several scriptures that come to mind when you talk about the possibility of God, but there are two scriptures that exposes the possibility of God that are very strong in my heart. One of them is Matthew 19, 26, and the other is Job 42, verse 2. Matthew 19, 26 says, with man, this is impossible. That's when you come to the end of yourself. But with God! And Job 42, verse 2 says, I know that thou can do all things, and nothing can be withholding from thee. Nothing. Nothing. God can do all things. All right. Break your Bible to Mark 16, 17 to 18. Signs and wonders. Mark 16, 17 to 18. And this sign. And this sign. Shall follow them that believe. In my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Verse 18. They shall take up serpents. 
And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall. If you want us to finish that chapter, we can. If you, if you want us counsel to finish the chapter, we can. So then after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. After he has spoken, now let's look at this. And they went forth, preached everywhere. And the Lord walking with them, confirming the words with signs following signs and wonders signs and wonders are the seal of God's approval when God approves a person or a thing or anything God has his finger behind it is proven by signs and wonders chapter 2 and verse 22 Jesus a man approved of God amongst you by the many signs and wonders and miracles which so signs and wonders are a proof of God's approval Egypt was a place of commerce Egypt was a place of intelligence when you talk about the intellectual of those days they were in Egypt commerce was there intelligence was there Magic was there. Every anything Moses did, magicians did. That is why the heart of Pharaoh was hardened. Egypt was a place of commerce, was a place of intelligence, was a place of magic. So when Moses dropped his rod, they dropped their rod. Spoke to the atmosphere, they spoke to the atmosphere. But it got to a point what Moses did, they could not do. God said to Moses in Exodus 7 verse 3, that I will multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. How? We had in the heart of Pharaoh. So God is the initiator of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are meant to follow the believers, not the believer to follow the sign. We are in a generation where believers are following signs and following wonders, but wonders and signs are supposed. He said, This sign shall follow them. They shall not follow signs, but signs shall follow them. So, as a believer and a child of God, when you move, signs move. When you sit, wonder sit. When you move, sign move. When you sit, wonder sit. You are a child of signs and wonder. You are God's vehicle for the supernatural. You are God mobile, mobile blazing fire. You are a carrier, a, a carrier, a dispenser of signs and wonders. Please give me attention for a while. Signs and wonders. <laughs> Signs and wonders is God's tool for conviction. God's tool for conviction. Let me shock you. Signs and wonders actually are supposed to be for unbelievers. The believers are supposed to display it to the unbelievers. Because the Bible says signs and wonders are not for them that believe. They are for them that don't believe. What that means is that by your connection to Christ, you are God's showpiece. You are God's agent of display, agent of manifestation, that the signs and wonders will be seen. That is why I say in John 4, 48, except they see signs and wonders, they will not believe. But what are the signs? Because most times we think that signs and wonders are just the miracles that God does are the acts of God and that is not totally true. In Matthew 16, we read a reference point from 17. He began to explain these signs. I want to cause trouble in the kingdom of darkness tonight. These signs shall follow them that believe. And he explained it. He told that the first sign is that in my name. 
So casting out the devil is not deliverance. It is signs and wonders. We have mistaken casting out devils. Why do we have to cast out devils? We have to cast out devils because devils are meant to be in a particular location. When the devil is not in that location, he has missed his address. We have to send him back to where he's supposed to be. There are many people today who do not understand the signs and wonders. The first order instruction God gave you, if you must manifest signs and wonders, is that you must be conscious that you must cast out devils and there are so many of us who say i'm a christian i don't need any devils to be cast out of me i don't need any devil in mark chapter one i believe verse 23 the bible said there was a man that was in the synagogue and the man who had an unclean spirit he was in the synagogue he had an unclean spirit he was in the church he had an unclean spirit there are many people in the synagogue today many people in the church many people in the church many people in different forests serving god but there are unclean spirits that are manifest inside their lives i'm telling you there are people who are housing devils i came to attack i didn't come to attack the the unclean spirits in the village i came to attack the unclean spirits in the synagogue listen to me if god opens your eye as a pastor and god open your eye as a member and god open you as a deacon to know what is happening inside your house you will be amazed that devils have entered the synagogue if god opens your eyes oh my god listen i was talking to a pastor we, we saw and I sat down. I was just talking to him. We are gisting. And I said, Where is your wife? He said, She traveled. I paused. I love marriage. I love a peaceful home. You can hardly hear me tell people separate. Even if I hear that from the Lord, I try to fine tune it. And God was talking to me. I said, Where is your wife? He said, The wife traveled. He said, But they're having issues. She doesn't want to come back. And I laughed. I said, I see your wife from the water. He was looking at me. And I said, I do not know. I don't know you, but I see your wife from the water. And I see you giving your wife, they gave you to your wife as an assignment. As I said that from the chair, he said, Jesus, he landed on the ground. Now, my heart beat skipped. I thought maybe he had a seizure, maybe epilepsy or something. He started shaking. He started shaking. I did everything to revive him. He's a prophet. Prophet. I did everything, everything to revive him. When he revived, I said, what's the matter? He said, my wife saved my name on her phone as my assignment. <laughs> Today, I was talking. One of our elders in the, in the ministry, who we see like a father, he joined me in marriage. He came to see mommy today and to see us in the... Um, Earlier on, we are talking. He was telling me about a man. I said, Where is that man? That man shook so and so place. He was a great man. He was this, he was that, he was this, he was that, he was this, he was that. He was a powerful man. He was this, he was that. What happened to him? He laughed. I said, Because those days when we were, we were young, we were teenagers, we used to go around, but we see that man handling spirits, handling powers. We be after Benson in the house at then. It was that man in the city of Benin. Shook everywhere. When that man has a camp meeting, people come from all over the world. All of a sudden, a lady appeared. From nowhere, he kicked his wife out. He sent his wife out. Nobody, who didn't talk? He said to me, even him, when he went to talk to the man, the man, when he finished talking, the man said, are you done? He said, yes. He said, stand up, get out. Stand up and get out. As soon as the lady came, lost the, the wife left. Minister, you know, one of these things that you will still be seeing little results. She was encouraged in doing it until one day he went out. Before he came back, he met a note. My mission is accomplished. Bam! She left. Ministry closed. Empty. Devils in the synagogue. There are devils in the synagogue. There are spirits operating in the synagogue. A pastor, I've told you the story. There was a pastor in Ghana. Ghana. Anytime the man has prayed five hours, six hours, he wants to go out. The wife will poke lot. The wife says, we are not going. No. You must satisfy your wife before you go. He's a pastor. He has to do it. But as soon as he gets to the altar, he's empty. He can't do anything. So when he's ready, he'll tell his wife, if you want it now, talk, oh, because I will soon go and pray. The wife is quiet. When he has charged up, Madam, off cloth. He said, you have to do your duty. What is this now? Until one day, he said to the wife, if God dressed, he prayed. He said to the wife, I'm not doing nothing. They argued and argued and argued and argued and they left. 
while he was on the altar, the wife entered the pulpit with nightgown, with her hand bleeding. Save me! Pastor wants to kill me. Save me! He was looking at the wife, confused. What is this? He said, me? You want to lie? You want to lie? Because I want to expose him. And she began to narrate all kinds of People were taking their Bibles one by one, walking out of the church. That was the end of ministry. And they left. Before Pastor got home, she has packed all her things because she has fulfilled her assignment. Devils in the synagogue. How do you explain a lady who is born again but can't carry a baby? It's because there's a spirit in the synagogue. This is the temple of God because most times we think that when devils are oppressed, it's because the people are not pure. There are devils in the synagogue. Jesus was in the synagogue. There were rabbis sitting and a devil was oppressed. There are some people I came with anger in my spirit. There are some people who are Christians. They are born again. But there is a devil oppressing the synagogue. The doctor look at a husband and look at a wife and say there's nothing wrong with them. But they can't carry a baby. You see a young man who is born again sound and is a graduate. He doesn't have a job. You see a beloved sister who should be married. is not married. You see someone who loves God and is dying of an infirmity. Dying of a disease. Dying of an affliction. Devils. Where does cancer come from? Devils in the synagogue. There are people today. Hear me. Hear me. The first mandate God gave us is to cast out in the school of Satan wonder. Casting out devils foundational class. In the school of signs and wonders. Casting out so we came today to cast out spirits. There are some of you now you don't know what is happening under your nostrils. Under your nostrils. There are things going on you are not aware. There are things happening around you you are not aware. But by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the anointing of God whether you are here right in this service or you are watching around the world we will cast out devils. 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 We will Take your seat. Every action of Paul, everything we see Paul preach in not the Gospels, the Corinthian church, the Ephesian church, all of them happen in the book of Acts. Acts was the practical. The Gospels were the stories of what happened in Acts. After he has gone through all of them in Acts, that is why he began to explain to them things he encountered. In Acts chapter 19, when he got to a place called Ephesus and ministering the gospel, there was a goddess called Diane, and everybody served that goddess and was the goddess of gold and silver. Diane was powerful to be worshipped. As Paul was ministering, there, are, there were many people who sacrificed to Diane. As Paul was praising God and preaching, they would bow down and say, Great is Diane. Great is Diane. They were worshipping Diane. Ephes Ephesus. The church of Ephesus was the church that gave Paul so much problem. When Paul entered the land of the, of the Ephesian territory, they gave him so much trouble. It was full of demonic oppression. People gave their money. People gave their wares. People gave their ornaments. People gave their gold. People gave their jewelries. People gave their silver. People gave their bronze. And they were taskmasters and bronze masters. They were commercializing, taking the, 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 the advantage of the people who were serving Diana was so serious. That was why when Paul was writing to the Ephesian, he said put on the whole armor of God because he know what he saw. When Paul was writing to the Ephesian, he said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places, rulers of the darkness of this world. He knew what he saw when he was writing to the Ephesian church. He said don't ought to stand. Stand therefore because Paul knew. Now to live a life without the consciousness that and, and the awareness, as it were, that there are demonic operations. Uh, yeah. There are demonic oppressions. There are people today on the pulpits. There are some people today in the pew. There are young ladies that are stranded and single. Beautiful yet stranded. There are people who are talented yet bankrupt because devils are working. Devils. Are working devils i'm telling you i've seen some strange things in ministry and i can tell you that demonic oppression is real it's real we can tell you that there are people who are head bound 
there was a man, don't forget this, in, in Genesis chapter 49 and verse 19, Jacob said, God, a troop shall overcome him, but it shall overcome at the last. God means one who was of the descendant of Jacob. He said, a troop, what is a troop? A troop means a legion. A troop is a, a battalion, a legion of army. He said, God, a troop will overcome you, but you shall overcome at the last. He was speaking to God. He was looking at God, but he was seeing someone inside God. He was looking at God. He was seeing a seed inside God. And in Mark chapter 5 and verse 1, the Bible says, when he came to the city of the Gadarenes, when he came to the city of the descendants of God, he saw a man who was bound. He was living in the tomb. So when he said, God, a troop shall overcome you. He wasn't looking at God. He was looking at the genealogy of God. That in the lineage of God, there will be a man who will be overcome by a troop. And that was why when Jesus asked the man, he said, is your name he said we are many we are legion what is your name the demons were many so they didn't know which one jesus was asking for what is your name we are many what is your name we are many is it disappointment it is there is it late marriage it is there is it delay it is there we are many is it miscarriage it is there is it poverty it is there is it self it is there going to get visa and you are disappointed it is there is it promise and faith it is there we are many which one are you looking for because if you ask which one we are we don't know which one should identify there are some of you looking at me if i ask you what is your problem you don't know what to say because they are many marriage there is a problem finance there is a problem health there is a problem everything around you family there's a problem we are many but this is what the devil did this is what the devil did you see characters when devils are at work the bible says and the man was alone one of the things demons try to perpetrate is loneliness they want to take anytime you feel alone and feel depressed is a devil at work on your mind nobody loves me i'm alone i'm not doing well look at my life it's a feeling sir it is a demon is not a feeling is not an emotion it is a manipulation anytime you feel like that you start binding binding casting binding because something wants to do you know who you are a devil is telling you that you are not you are nothing you are not up to it do you know who you are he says you are wonderfully and fearfully made do you know who you are you are a royal prisoner a choosing generation a holy nation only you god calls you peculiar people how can an individual be a people Peculiar, yeah, 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 yeah. A peculiar. Do you know who you are? The, listen to me. That devil wants you to stay lonely. He was alone. When people begin to fight and begin to react against people who can help them, there's a demon at work. Because the demon wants you to be alone. The demon begins to wire entitlement into your spirit. Begins to wire. There are people. Oh yeah, Dabakata sir. Begins to wire entitlement. There are people who today are stranded because there is a force at work in their lives that want them to remain alone. Number two, we saw the Bible say, and he was cutting himself, cutting himself. There are people that destroy themselves by themselves, cutting himself. He was cutting. He was bleeding. This man cuts himself. He's bleeding. He cuts himself again. He's feeling pain, but he's cutting himself. He's feeling pain. He's cut. There are things that hurt you, but you can't see them. Have you seen a man who is addicted to alcohol? He's cutting himself. Alcohol is destroying him, but it takes alcohol again. Alcohol is ruining him. It takes alcohol again. Have you seen a young lady who knows there's a young man destroying her life, but she can't walk away. She sees herself going back there. She's cutting herself by herself. There are some of you looking at me now. There are habits and there are addiction. You want to stop it, you can't stop it. You are cutting yourself by yourself. When devils are at work, you destroy yourself by yourself. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. A young boy was going to a bar. People went to preach to him. As we were preaching, he was crying. He was smoking, he was crying. He was smoking, he was crying. They were convinced, why are you crying? He said, I don't know. I want to stop. I can't stop. Something inside me wants to stop. But I can't stop. Something inside me wants to stop. He was crying. He said, I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. 
I can't stop. I can't stop. I was, <laughs> I was preaching somewhere and I said something that Jesus can set you free. No matter what it is. Somebody shouted, it's not easy like that. I, I picked it. So at the end of the service, I spoke to the pastor. I'm like, what did that person say? It's not easy like that. That, that tent thing felt, I felt, what's going on? He said, while I was talking, he told them to send for the guy. That was initially angry. He said, but I need to hear the guy's story. So it went to his office. When the guy began to narrate, he was in, uh, what do you call this school? For Reverend Father, seminary. He got somebody pregnant. Seminary. He was thrown out. They drove him. Because he came there with the ministry of fruits of the womb. They drove him. He carried his things. He went to Lagos. He was living with somebody. Two of the daughters pregnant. That one didn't drive him. That one carried him straight to jail. Listen, oh, it will shock you. He straight to jail. He was in jail. Someone who was bringing food to the prison. He liked the guy. They'll bring food. They'll give him food. When they release them, the lady has access to bring food. Got the lady pregnant. Let me ask you a question. Somebody commits offense. You send to prison. Somebody commits offense in prison. Where do you send him to? They release him after he serves some tenure. Anytime in church they are preaching, he sits down. When they say Jesus can do this, <laughs> he will laugh. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I hear you. Finally, I came to the same place. I was ministering. Jesus can do this. Yeah, you know, they easy like that. And when he began to open up his story, one, two, three, four, he's the apostle. Naturally, it's not me. He said, I run from such things. But when something comes on me, cutting himself, they drove you from seminary. That's enough for you to put a vow on yourself. No. He went to Lagos, stayed with somebody. The thing came again. Because it was tender useless. They got him arrested, kept him there. Somebody bringing food to you, bringing food for the other inmates. The thing came. It is something. It says, devil, sir. Don't pretend there is a devil at work that needs to be cast out. Don't pretend. Stop pretending. Stop trying to act. You see, one of the problems we have in the body of Christ is that we fake things a lot. Uh, no, we, we, call, we call it fake. We, we fake things. We fake things because, because and we put ourselves in a pedestal that's only meant for God. A ped, look at this. Like, you put yourself in a pedestal in the church, a pedestal that's meant only for God. How many of you know, you know what they call statute? You know statute? Statute. When you put statute, it cannot move. It does not move. Because it has no life. Anything that stays on the spot that has life will move. Am I talking to somebody? Only God. We put ourselves in a pedestal of, that's meant for God. There are battles going on in life. People are cutting themselves. Sir, have you not seen people that will gather money like this and walk and go and gamble? They will gamble everything. Sir, I will win. I will soon win. I'm coming. He will go and carry his refrigerator. Now, now, do you know he has lost a lot to gambling? But he's still gambling. He's cutting himself by himself. The other time it was MMM or whatever they call it. The man carried their money. He disappeared. He ran away and he died. He ran away and died. So how can, how can you arrest the dead man? That expired. There were people putting money there. People caught themselves by themselves. And the Bible said he was living among tombs. The spirit of death was chasing him. When devils are at work in a person, the third thing that happens is that this, you attract death. Anything that would make a man expire is what the devil wires in his direction. Death, suicidal thought. Let me end my life. Let me take my life. Let me just go. Nobody likes me. Let me take my life. Let me take. There are people you see, they will stand. That thing was on me at a time when I was younger. It was on me at the time. 
just got a point. Very young, between about eight and nine, I felt like dying. Some people just telling me, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. I went, my dad uses this shaving powder. I poured it in water and I drank it. Now, you know that's death. Drink it. I opened my eyes. I was still alive. I'm telling you the truth. It was bad. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. I was young. When I got to the institution, one day, this thing came on me. Kill yourself. Kill. I was already a Christian. It just came. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. And I was hearing it. It was moving me. It was moving me. It was moving me. It was moving me. I held a wire. They had some naked wires there. And I, the thing said, bring out your tongue. Put it on your tongue. Put it. As I was putting it like that, pam, power went off. Power went off. As soon as power went off, the voice stopped. The voice stopped. It didn't talk again. It didn't say anything. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. So I was speaking in tongues, though. I was hearing this voice. Why are we lying? Do you know many people in the church now, when they finish church, they will still hide. They cannot tell anybody, sir. Because we'll, we'll, we'll look down, we'll ridicule them, you dicking. They don't like it. A pastor was, a, pa a pastor looking at me and he was, his eyes were red. As a pastor, this is not prayer. His eyes were red. As a pastor, come, come. He was moving backwards. As a pastor, come close. He was just looking I said, come closer, sir. Just come close. I move close. I perceive weed. Man of God. Now, let me say this to you. Do you know the mistake? You would think that in that does not make him a man of God. That's not true. He's still a man of God. Uh, you, don't, you don't know Bible. Rest, rest. Let's not go there. Rest. You can be scriptural and not spiritual. There's a difference between scriptures and spiritual. People can quote Bible and they don't have a secret place. The authentic Christianity is spirituality. C-R-O-K, C-R-O-K, C-R-O-K. <laughs> Christian religious knowledge is from Bible. Oh. There are teachers who teach C-R-O-K and they are not born again. So somebody, there's something called experiential knowledge of God. Experiential. An experiential. Not quoting scripture. So you can put the Bible under your pillow. Demons will beat you. They will remove the Bible and flog you. After flogging you, they'll put it back. The letter kill it. Is the spirit. See, Father Lord, you said in your word, you said, and God told me, he said, son, even the devil quotes scriptures. He said to Jesus, it is. So you can be scriptural and not spiritual. So multiplicity of scripture is not a proof of right. The proof of right is a display of the fruit of the spirit. Multiplicity of scripture. You cannot display anger and pride and use a scripture to cover it. No. That is, that is being scriptural. Being spiritual is admitting that at that point, I lost it. That's all. At that point, I lost it. And that, that was in me. I lost it. That's the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost... Ah, yeah. Devils in people. And the Bible says, this man, the demon was in him. He was moving towards the grave. And the Bible says, when the demon left him, when they came back, I think verse 15, I think, of Matthew 5, Mark 5, I think. He said, when they came back, they saw him clothed and in his right mind. So that tells us something. When demons are working on people, nudity, nudity, nudity is not a style. It is a demonic possession. 
is not a fashion. It, to be naked is a demonic possession. It's not a brand. It is a spirit. There are people that desire to be naked. It's a passion. Nakedness is their calling. I'm telling you the truth. Sew a cloth from them. They will tear it by the side. Give them full material. They say, no, cut it. He said, ah, what, what, why is it too long? Cut it. They will cut it. They know this one is too long. Cut it. Ah, where are you cutting? He said, no, it's too long. Cut it. Ah, what happened? Cut it. He gets above the hand. He said, no, ah, yeah. it's not showing things. It's not showing. Cut it. They cut the case. Ah, it's not showing things. Cut it. There's a spirit at work. What women don't know is this. Men like suspense. Men like suspense. When you are properly covered, men like to imagine. They don't like you to show them. When you show them, they don't like it. It's too easy. They want to imagine. No, you just appear like that. Some people just appear. It's a spirit in them. Nobody, nobody who sees you naked and desire you loves you. Not one. Anyone who sees you nude. And nudity has entered church. It's a spirit. He said, when they saw him fully clothed and in his right mind. So naked people are not in their right minds. Do you know today nothing sells in the commercial world without nakedness? Look at the secular music. Anybody doing music must bring like five naked people. All of them are naked. Jagbajaga, 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 And you see all the people who are Jagbajagba in, all of them are naked. Jagbajagba, Jagbajagba, and somebody will say best video. What did you see there? Jagbajagba. It is the new ditty because they know that is what sells. Spirits have taken over. We are not aware. And you know when you watch those things, some of you who are struggling with masturbation, you are struggling with such devil, you go to church, you are Christians, you are struggling with such habits. How did they enter you? The things you watch. You watch them and the demons begin to process them in your mind and you want to practice them privately. There are people who in their office will lock the door and they will finish masturbating and they will speak in tongues and lift up hands. Spirits are at work. They shall cast out devils. Today we came to cast out. Every devil, is somebody in this house, every devil that has kept you bound, whatever it is that is not of God in your life, in the next couple of minutes, we will cast them out. He said, this man, they have often bound him before and he will cut himself. That's number five or number six. When devils are at work, your helpers are tired. He has been bound severally. Helpers are tired. There are some people, there are people who genuinely love them and want to help them. But something always manipulates them to, to hurt the people who want to. So helpers are tired. Say, say please, 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 please. 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 <laughs> Say, please, help us are tired. They want to help you. They want to support you. But you use your hand. I've told you countless stories. Help us are tired. There are people who are held bound by devils, by spirits. Some of them, they appear to you. Ah, yeah. Not everybody you see walking on the road is a human being. I am being honest to you. I've told you the story of a young man who carried a girl. Saw the girl on the road, carried the girl, dance, dance, dance. Took the girl somewhere, did whatever, and came. The girl said, drop me at home. He took the girl home. And went to drop the girl. The girl said, come tomorrow by 3 p.m. Say, when do I pick you? He said, 3 p.m. tomorrow, come. He dropped the girl. He left. Next day, 2.30, he was at the house. And mentioned the girl's name that I was looking for her. The first person he said to, shock. Who? He mentioned the girl's name. He said, I dropped her yesterday. He shock. It's not only me that will hear this. Oh. He went to the compound. He called people. He said, please, say what you said. He said, what's with this drama? I want to so-so-so person. The shock. Eh? 
Where are you from? He said, what do you mean? I dropped her here yesterday. Huh? It's not only us that will hear, oh. Before you know it, <laughs> a crowd had gathered. Only the elders, the elderly men could now say, what is the matter? He mentioned, he said, you saw her? He said, yes. Both of you saw? Describe. He described and described and described and described. When he described, he said, okay. 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 So when you saw her, what happened? We went out and did. You did what? He said, we spent time together. He said, well, who you are looking for died three years ago. And we have buried her. So we don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> you don't understand this thing. A lady told a young man, they met in a shopping mall. So he told the young man, he said, okay. The young man said, how do I see you? How do I see you? He described the place. The first turn to this, second turn to this, you go straight, you see a sandboard, you go there, you see straight, that's my house. The young man said, what kind of dis description is that? Let, tell me, let me go and drop you up. He said, come in, enter the car. Carried her exactly the way he described. First turn here, second turn here, this one, you see the first sandboard, she said, turn and move straight. The guy saw buildings and everything. He dropped the lady. He said, you now go now. He said, what? He said, you go. He said, enter your house. The lady said, you now go. Okay, he turned and he left. When do I pick you? Come tomorrow evening. The guy got there. First turn, second turn, turn but so as he was driving, he saw cemetery. He turned back. <laughs> he went to the road. First turn, second turn, <laughs> cemetery. He reversed. <laughs> he reversed. He went there. First turn. What he saw was buildings. But it was not a building. It was entries. Many of you are so blind to the things of the spirit. Things are happening around you. So Satan has taken advantage. If you know, sir, can I say this to you? The most developed world today is the witchcraft world. Every day they gather for meetings and all they are doing is to increase their technology. No wonder recently in a world conference, a witch stood on the platform, on the podium. You didn't see the video? A witch stood, World Economic Conference. A witch stood on the podium. How many of you saw that video? Okay. A witch stood on the podium and made the cantation and began to lay hands on the head of delegates. Lay hands on the head of delegates. World Conference. They don't hide anymore. They have come boldly because the church is blind to their operation. We are busy preaching faith. Preaching faith, preaching high revelations, preaching high sounding words, quoting several scriptures. Demons like that. You know what the devil likes? The devil likes when you don't talk about him. He likes, he likes to operate silently. The devil is like a secret service. They operate silently. He likes you to make assumption, but he's destroying. He likes you to even feel that he can't do anything, but he's destroying. Just walking there, he's taking over. He said, No, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm born again. Glory to God. First marriage break. Glory to God. Second husband left you. Glory to God. Your children fail exam. Glory to God. Satan is enjoying that. But when you now face him, that is why when you don't pray, you sleep well. The day you wake up at night to pray, they attack you. Uh, how come the period you say you want to fast that is the period you got problems how come when you declare for five days that is when there's a reaction satan doesn't like you to be conscious of him it's like cancer it will start eating 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 you still be jumping you still oh yeah back at us as in america some weeks ago, we were in Atlanta. Three weeks ago, I shook a guy's hand. He was jumping, we were talking. I said, I don't know, can you go for a test? He says, hey, Jesus, Papa, what did you see now? I said, I just have a feeling. Go, go, go check yourself up. He said, but I'm okay, I'm fine. I said, go check yourself up. Don't worry. And let us know. But I don't, I don't know, I just have the feeling. Just go to the hospital, have a check. He said, but sir, I don't see anything. Check yourself. The pastor calls me four days ago. See, this brother's number is not going. I said, what's going on? Give me the phone. Give me his number. I call. He wouldn't pick. I, he wouldn't see my call. And it's not possible. I called this guy for two days. He wouldn't pick. Yesterday, he calls me up. I was crying. 
It's a cancer stage four. Bouncing. It was bouncing. It was okay. That's how the devil likes to eat. And I said to him, but I told you. He said, I casually went. I just casually went. And they held me back. I'm not going anywhere. That is a critical stage. Yes, I said, we're going to deal with it. We're going to fix it. We're going to command it to dry up. From the roots. He said, devil. At one. Jesus said, listen, no. these signs shall follow them. In my name. Sir, what a man mentions first is priority. What a man mentions first is priority. He said, wait, oh. These signs shall follow them in my name. Please. They shall cast out devils. If they can handle that, then every other thing is easy. They shall cast, we came to cast out devils. Listen, when we start praying here, you are going to see reactions. There are some of you, there are things inside you, you didn't know we are there. When we begin to pray, you see them jumping out. There are things, oh yeah. Somebody will look at you and say, ah, ah. Ah, ah. You just resemble grandma. You resemble grandpa. Oh, you think it's a resemblance? It's a spirit of old age. That you are young, but you are looking old. I was praying. I can't remember. That was Lesotho. I can't remember the country. I laid my hands on the lady. I kept on praying. I said, the dog is dead. I didn't know what I said. The dog is dead. Two days later, testimony comes. When the young girl, <laughs> when the young girl was born, they bought a dog. The mother came to visit them. That's what they call a mugo. If you know mugo, take care of child. It was not the mom that came. It was the grandmom. The grandmom came, and she came with her dog. One time, she began to invoke spirits from the dog into the girl. She held the baby. The dog was there. The mother saw it, looked at that, and was invoking spirits. Why? got to 14 years from one man to this man from one man to this man from one man to this man now to make matters worse somebody wanted to marry her so the person brought the friend to introduce it this is my friend i'm coming before the guy came back she slept with the friend it was the spirit of a dog am i somebody here and that night the lord said the dog she grew up over 40, still not married. Because something was projected into her star. Listen to me. <laughs> the, you, see, in Luke chapter 8, verse 2, the Bible tells us about a woman called Mary Magdalene. That Jesus casted out devils from seven devils. After she was healed, she ministered to Jesus of her substance. That is one thing these devils do. They kill your productivity. Demons kill your creativity. It kills your value. There are things you carry, but there are spirits at work. You see a good man lift up his hand and slaps his wife. You, oh my God. You think he's the man? At that, at that portion, something inside his father that made his father react to his mom, reacts inside him. It's not, it's your poor Mount Zion. Mount Zion. Spirits are walking and your eyes are covered you think a madman knows what he's doing a madman he sits on the road he eats he doesn't know what he's doing a spirit has taken over his mind has covered his mind spirits are walking spirits when my father did his 50th birthday i was very small i was young when he did his 50th birthday i was with him in the hospital we were battling to save his life He's watching this now by television. We are battling to save my father's life. He was sick. Everywhere they took him to, they couldn't see anything. He was sick. He was sick. I sat with him in the car. I saw my father dying. I saw him losing weight from a chubby man. Bulky. I saw him losing weight. I saw my father dying. I looked at him. I said, what is this? We didn't understand. I saw my father dying. I didn't know that two women we are busy debating. One said, take him. The other said, we can't take him. One said, take him. He said, okay, leave him. Let him suffer, but don't kill him. Leave him. Let him suffer, but don't kill him. He said, why? He said, he's the one taking care of our children. He's the one taking care of our this. 
is one thing they were debating in the coven and they were members of family until one of them reached out after they did everything the man was dying the man was not a christian but he entered church because of that problem i've traveled with my father to places for prayer the man was dying but while he was in the hospital i came in and i made some declarations i was not aware i made some declarations on that man one of the women bam confession began you don't understand this thing i was little my mom was a police woman i was little an attack came my mom collapsed bam I saw my mom dying. And I said something. I was young. I said, if I ever, if I was doing this to my mother, if I ever get power, I will kill you. My uncle covered my mouth. He said, are you stupid? The people doing this to your mother are here. Covered my mouth. Say, shut up. Are you stupid? Those doing this to your mother. Held my mouth. You know why? She was the shining star. She was the one taking care of people's children. She was the one supporting everybody. And the, you see, in, in, in the world of wickedness, generosity is a crime. Generosity is a crime. Because there are people they want to suffer, but you are making them prosperous. There are people they want to be stranded, and you are helping them. Once you are generous, you are a victim of wickedness. Once you are some of you are not following me tonight. They shall cast out. Generosity is a crime. As we start praying in the next few minutes, every devil in oppression, matana patana, strong men, strong women, as we begin to pray in the name of Jesus, their power shall be broken. Ay, 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 ay. Someone said that uh, um, they should forget all these things. You want to succeed in success in life? It's a function of the schools you attend. Go to good school, go to this, go to that. What is that? You are sick, go to the hospital. Sir, even doctors, there are, there are cases that confuses them. Sir, I have seen people with masters and living like servants. I've seen people with PhDs and they are jobless. Have you not seen professors on the bus stop in Lagos with their suit and their briefcase? Professors, prof, in Lagos, waiting for Molwe. I said, hey, you, you take it easy, man, you don't step on me. The way their briefcase, hey, what's your problem? Step back, give, me, give yourself some distance. Thank you. Prof, prof, prof is at the bus stop. Prof, stranded. He goes to the market and sees a woman selling pepper. Hello, how are you? The woman says, I'm fine. Well, this is pepper, okay. This is cashew nuts. Okay, this is popo. Carico, popo, you. You've done that. And at the end of the day, is struggling to pay bills because these are so don't tell me that i know people who are sound who read marketable courses and they are stranded 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 i've seen people who are chartered accountants and they are joining wires chartered and tattered spirit at work i told you the story of a young girl beautiful girl a young man said, I want to get married to you. And both of them were dating. The very period they fixed the date, she noticed something was growing under her. She opened herself and showed her mom. The mom said, what? A manhood grew out of her. What? She told the mom. The mom took her straight to the UK. They flew. As they got to the UK, the mom showed the doctor. The doctor said, what is that? Come to the examination table. As she laid down, they opened her. The thing disappeared. It wasn't there. Doctor said, your mom said there was something. He said, yes, sir. He's there. The man is not there now. He said, he's there. He said, it's not there. Ah, please, stand up. 
they went to the room. And the doctor asked the mom, say, how many people have hallucination in your family? The mother said, Lucy, what? He said, I, I, madam, calm down. These are, these are hallucination works. Calm down, calm down. I'm not hallucinating. We saw it. Look at the picture. Madam, it's in your imagination. She does it. As soon as she stepped out of the office and was going downstairs, boom, it grew out. Now, this is the part that made me laugh. One day, arm robbers came. They were robbing. She was in the, in the house where they were robbing. She's a beautiful girl. So the arm robbers wanted to take advantage of her. As soon as they saw what was under, <laughs> arm robber, <laughs> arm robber took off. Spirits at work. Spirits. I was settling a situation between a pastor and the wife. The pastor said he was done. He told me to my face. He said, I'm done. I said, what? He said, no, the marriage is over. Ah, ah. The wife was there. I said, please give me time. Give me time. Ah, I'll give you time, care. What's going on? He said, no, I just came to tell you as my father, the marriage is over. I, would, I don't want you to hear and feel offended. Daddy, please tell him to give me time. I said, both of you come. Went to the office. And the man told me that for 16 months, the wife would not let him touch her. 16 months. One year, four months. He said, but when they are sleeping, he will hear the wife moaning like she's making love to somebody. When they open their eyes, she will tap the woman. What's happening? She gets herself back. Let me touch you. Wait, 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 wait. Give me time. Give me time. And that was why I knew that a spirit husband is at work. The man opened up to me that any time, the last time the man did it, she would bleed and almost die. Because the spiritual husband would not make such things enjoyable. Because spirit husbands and spirit wives are jealous. Incubus and succubus. You don't want to hear this kind of message. I will tell you. Shatidi. Tidisaka. Can I talk to you now? There are powers. Asha. Brother, take your hands off your face. Keep your hand down. Take your hand off your face. There are powers that are keeping people on the spot. When I begin to pray now, there's going to be a reaction here. Whether it's a spiritual attack. I know preachers of the gospel. There was a preacher. There was a preacher who was doing certain things. People were worried at what he was doing. I got, the sister reached out to me. I was praying. praying. She mentioned her name and mentioned the last name. I said, yeah, that last name rings a bell. He said, I know, I know. He said, I know. I said, who is that last name? He said, he said, he said it's my brother. It's my brother. I said, oh, why are you reaching out to me for prayer? He said, he can't handle it because he's also suffering it. He can't handle it. He's also suffering it. I said, but why is he doing this? He said, no, sir. That is how our father was. The same character of our father is what my brother is doing. But just that my brother backs it with a lot of scriptures so people don't know it is a tradition in the family. We fight people. We attack people. He said, who has bewitched you? Oh, foolish. So you can be a Christian and be bewitched. You cannot be a Christian and be a witch. But you can be a Christian and be bewitched. How do you, how do you think that a, a sister you know in the choir are speaking tongues like Shongo that will make holy incantation like Romila. All of a sudden, a brother come from somewhere. The way she followed the brother and left church, you are confused. She's bewitched. Is it not sister so and so? She's gone. I'm in love. I'm in love. From praying in the Holy Ghost. You see her now. You see all her quotes. Love is a beautiful thing. 
when you meet your soulmate, it's like heaven on earth. She's smiling. She says, sister, you look at me smiling. Oh, I'm blushing. You will soon brush out. I will soon clear. Am I communicating? These are spirits. You are not doing well. You have a desire. How many of you look at your life and you know this is not where you are supposed to be? How many of you, you just notice that, no, no, there, there's something, there's a spirit at work. Don't fake it. Pray it out. Don't fake it. Pray it out. There's something that needs to be casted out. That's why we came. We came to cast out devils. Labor, no reward. Effort, no profit. There's a devil at work. We came to cast them out. We came to cast them out. And in the name of Jesus, they are coming out. Sir, thank God for scriptures. How many of you know that this is a church of scriptures and the word of God? Yeah. Faith. We believe in faith. Listen to me. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have energy to debate with anybody. So if you like, take an extraction of my tape and settle down and analyze and counteract. I will not respond to you. I'm too busy. When you finish analyzing, only you will off your camera and enter house. I will not, but I will tell you, not all demons operate on the same level. Not all demons operate on the same level. Matthew 17. If you read from verse 18, 19, 20, Matthew 17. Jesus rebuked the devil. Okay, go back to verse 16. 16, 15, 16. I brought him to their disciples and they could not cure him. Leave that scripture there. Now, in the time of Jesus, the disciples were already doing teaching practice. Okay, they were bringing little, little cases from them. They were practicing it. It was coming out. So they were so assured. So this man brought the son. The disciples could not handle it. So, you hear what he said? I brought him to the disciples and they could not cure him. Look at verse 17. Jesus said, oh faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. Next verse. Jesus rebuked the devil. And the department departed out of him. And the child was cured that very hour. Hold on. So it was like embarrassing. Because proud of that one, the disciples were already, focus here, focus here. There's a reaction, focus here. Proud of that time, the disciples were already handling cases. Look at verse 19. Focus here, don't worry about that, focus. Then came the disciples to Jesus. To Jesus apart and said, why could we not cast him out? Verse 20. Jesus said, because of your unbelief, for I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto the mustard seed, unto the mountain, remove yonder, hence to yonder place, and it shall be shall removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Verse 21. He said, but wait to I'll beat this kind uh, is, I, I told you about faith. Faith is very important. But this kind. Uh, it's good to have faith. It's a general thing you need to cast out devils. But because of the grade of this one. This kind goeth not out. You hear me? He wasn't talking about another thing. So don't twist it. The, the, the preceding the discussion was about the demon. So don't twist it. He was talking about this demon. So when he got there, he said, listen, it's good to have faith. Faith is the basis. Having faith that Jesus can do it. But as you have that faith, sir, engage in spiritual exercises. Because this kind goeth not out, but by prayer, hey, 
foundational afflictions and attacks of human life. I used to preach a message. They call it the message of grace. I started preaching that message in 1998, 1999, 2000. If you are born again, you are in Christ, you are a new creature. I preached that message for a while. So when I walk into places and they are casting demons, I'll start smiling because as far as I was concerned, they didn't have revelation. When you have revelation, rema. Rema. You cross your leg and just say, go. And it's go. You say, leave. And it leave. So when I go to places, they are praying, die, die. For three years, I say, what, what is this? No. We have rema. We are the new creation, the new breed. I had a brother called Ernest. Ernest was the one that would teach us on the rema. And I was doing all of that. Ernest and I came to Uromi. That's where he comes from. Uromi. And we are doing a program. He got a particular age. That was the age the father died. He was a kid when the father died. That was his birthday. Ernest has ministered and ministered. He got home, slept. I never woke up. The same thing caught up with him. I said, no, something's wrong with my revelation. Because this guy, if this guy teach, if this guy teach, if he teach, no, I'm an, I, I'm an apprentice. This guy would open one scripture. We open it, open it. You can't sit down. He will let you know that Jesus has done everything. There's nothing for you to do. He will show you from scriptures. So I now say, Lord, there's something wrong. I locked my door. I took days. I began to pray. And Jesus told me. He said, what he's preaching is the message of Paul. They are the revelations of Paul. They are not my revelations. Check what I did while I was alive. I casted out demons. I casted out evil spirits. He said, even Peter warned you to be careful of the letters of Paul. Peter warned you. Oh. Second Peter 3.16. Peter warned you to be careful of the letters of Paul. He said, in all his epistles, speaking in, in them of these things, in which some things are hard to be understood. Which they that are learned and unstable rest, as they do also other scriptures unto their own destruction. Bring other translation. He was saying that when Paul was teaching, Referred to this in all his letters. And has written you essentially the same thing. Some things Paul writes are difficult to understand. Irresponsible people who don't know what they are talking about, twist them. <laughs> this is Peter who know Paul more than you. Do you know Paul? Peter that know Paul is talking here. He said difficult or irresponsible people who don't know what they are talking about, twist it. Twist them every which way. They do it to rest to the rest of the scripture too. Destroying themselves as they do it. He consistently speak of these things in all his letters. Even though he writes or comes <laughs> some concepts that are overwhelming to our understanding. Peter was confused as of Paul's writings. This is Peter that was with Jesus first hand. Was saying, this thing Paul is saying, this is not... It's not the exact way it is. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, overwhelming to understand the which the unlearned and unstable love to twist to their spiritual ruin. So, God told me, he said, that, he said, you people have been preaching the gospel revelations of Paul. Preach what I did. Did I cast out devil? Yes. Did I command spirit to live? Yes. Do what I did. Not what Paul said. I wish I was talking to somebody here. And I went back. I threw away all the books. E.M. Bounds. Kenyon. No, Kenyon especially. I had a lot of them. I packed them. I dropped them somewhere. I said, this is time for war. If Jesus casted out devils... I'm going to cast out devils. Mark 9.29. Mark 9.38. Jesus casted out devils. I'm going to cast out devils. This kind. Comfort not. But by fasting. And pray. Mark 9.38. He casted out devils. Matthew 12.22. 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 Matthew 12
Matthew 12, 22. Matthew 12, 28. And they brought to him one that was possessed with the devil. Blind and dumb. Healed him in so much that the blind and dumb saw and spoke. Verse 28. We are here to cast out spirit. He said, if I, but if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. You don't have a child. There's a spirit behind it. How come the doctor say nothing is wrong with you? But you know you can't get conception. There's a devil somewhere. That devil that say you can't have a baby. That devil that say you can never get married. I came to find it. I came to challenge it. We are not negotiating. I fasted before I came. I prayed before I came. So that aspect is settled. It's for me to give instruction that that spirit that has held you bound and has kept you till now, it shall proceed no further. Am I speaking here? It's your season of peace. Be upstanding, everybody. Wherever you are, some beans, some beans are going to drop out. Some, some beings, some personalities. Some of you, while we start praying, you are going to just notice something walking out of you. It's going to take its permanent leave. Permanent leave. Uh, if you miss any session, you miss because I'm continuing. There are some things I'm going to tear and teach you about altars. Am I talking to somebody here? We came to terminate their operations. We came to silence their maneuverings. We came to say, you have gone far, you go no further. We came to stop their oppressions. Ah. Ah, yeah. There are some testimonies if I share, some of you may run out of the church. Or social media will be on fire. Because it's too heavy. Because this Gen Z generation, Gen Z, is a generation with short attention span. They don't process. They don't think. So everything is wired to make them be in a hurry. Tick tock. Two minutes. Man, one minute. Everything. Talk, talk, talk. Tick. You are talking. You are ticking. You are talking. You are ticking. You are talking. Everything. So it's, they don't process. They don't think. So as they hear something, ah, they don't process it. There are things we've seen. There are things we've seen, sir, that I'm sure Gabriel Lissendiku remembers a girl we went to minister deliverance to that was fighting everybody. Pastor God's power was also in that, in that issue. This girl was 16. And they said to me, 16. But she was bigger than her age. And they said to me, there's a girl that beats up pastors, fight pastors, deliverance. She will pull pastors by them, match them, beat them. When the thing comes on her, she's so strong. She beats up pastors. I say, what nonsense. Where is she? Take me there. What nonsense. They said, let's, let's ask her more. If I said, bring her. One word. The spirit will come out. They got a church premise. I said, it's not easy like that, yo. I said, it was not easy. Bring her. They say, pastors avoid her. She will just walk in. You are talking, she's come to the altar. She will grab you by the tie. <laughs> Pastor will start shouting, hold, hold her. <laughs> hold her. She will beat everybody, beat the ushers. So I said, bring her. I sat down in the church premise with some brothers and sisters. Parakata, they were praying. Rakakaka. I saw a young. I said, "Is it this?" Thing? I said, "Come here." She said, "Sir, please help me. Help me." Uh, the thing came. I said, "I look at you. You are in trouble today. You have met an anointed man of God. <laughs> if only I knew." <laughs> If only I knew that I was going to be detained for two days. I said, that you're in trouble. Come here. The thing came as it's coming close. Something pulls her back. I said, hold her. Three brothers, two sisters. 
like this. She carried them. Sir, I saw their leg leave the ground. Sir, I wasn't told. She carried them like this and threw them. I said, Oh boy, you. Oh. I said, hey, big, big, big. What is this? I was still there praying. Ragadada, ragadada, ragadada. So one of the brothers came back. He said, in the name of Jesus, I command this. Hey, shh. Yesterday by seven, he mentioned the girlfriend's name. Mentioned when they went to commit immorality. He said, you want to cast me out? Leave. The brother just said, Rabbi. Rabbi. Yeah. <laughs> Rabbi. <laughs> He just, he just excuse. Another girl was talking. He said, you are talking. He said, yes. He said, you are putting on your mother's jewelry. Is she aware? You took your mother's jewelry. He was talking to the girl. You stole your mother's jewelry. Is she aware? He said, it doesn't matter. He said, shh, leave. That one just, sir, I was left alone. It was time for evening services. So the church we are using came for evening service. But this girl will clap hands. All the doors will be locked. I'm telling you a real life story. Doors will be locked. I was there Wednesday. I was there Thursday. She will clap her hand. The light will go off. We'll be in darkness. I'll be praying. She wants to come close to me. She can't. She will turn, turn back. I'm hungry. She puts her hand in her mouth. She's eating. She removes it. She will bet. <clears throat> She's full. Me, I'm hungry. I was not. I was not looking for the bodies. Let me go. <laughs> Carry your, your demon. Possess all your possess. Just let me go. I say in the name of Jesus. In the name of every nation about how God anointed Jesus. He will say with, with the Holy Ghost and power. Who went about doing good. Healing all oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Acts 38. I will start a scripture. He will quote the scripture and tell me where it is. I say, hey, yeah. Scripture that is the small thing I'm holding. <laughs> you, have taken, you have taken it from. I will quote scripture. By then, I was told that he went to tell my mom. My mom was already praying. Not for her to be delivered, though, for her son to come back home. I said, the brothers, some of them who had faith, who were lawyers, some of this, they were, they were outside. See, said, they were praying, they were outside. They didn't know what was happening. The door was locked. On Friday morning, an angel walked in. You see, eh? All those things you see with wings are not angels, oh. All those wings. Wings are expression of capacity to float in the air. Not that. If you see angels, you'll be so shocked. They are not men. They are not things you see. And he said, praises. 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 Satan fears praises. Satan can pray. Satan can quote scripture. But Satan cannot praise God. Satan quotes scriptures. Satan prays in people. I can't praise God because when he rebelled, that capacity was taken from him. He was a worship leader. When he rebelled, that capacity was taken. So he's angry when he sees praises because that is what he cannot do. As I began to praise God, there was a reaction. Ah! I said, Hey, can I be here since speaking in tongues? Boom! She was delivered. Today she's a pastor's wife. When I remember that deliverance case, 48 hours. So now I understand it. I understand it. Sir, there are things happening in your family. Don't lie. It happened to your father, it happened to your mother. You are seeing the same thing in your life. It happened to your sister. You are seeing the same thing in your life. It happened to others in your family. You are seeing the same thing in your life now. It's about time to address it. Somebody 
the fact that I had a leg pain on the last toe. He snowballed into something, affected the leg, he became paralyzed, it killed him. Now, he has the same, the same spot. You see, it's just imagination. Ah, you are joking. It's a pattern repeating itself. It's time to tear it down. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? I, I, have you gotten something today? We are going to pray. And I want to take this prayer loud. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Begin to pray. I attack every spirit of evil patterns and circles in my family line. I attack every spirit of evil patterns and circles in my family line. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Jesus, 
Mexico. Final prayer. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You are a pastor. I know. I know. You are a pastor. But before you got to that location, there were powers that controlled that region. And those powers will not just give you. You have to wrestle. They won't bow. Satan never gives up until after a fight. Even after he was down, the Bible said, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. For the dragon is cast down. It, the inhabitants of the earth is a war to them. Heaven has escaped it. He said there was war in heaven. So there can be war on earth. That region. Why do you think when, when Jesus said he was going to cast out that spirit, the demon said, please don't cast it out of this region. They have been in that place for a lo long time. They have become territorial commanders. They knew the dynamics of oppression. They knew how to penetrate people's emotions. They have studied that area. They knew what they would fire into the atmosphere and people come under their control. So they said, we can't live here. No, 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 no. We can't live here. We can't live here. We can't live here. Please don't. They said, okay, fine, fine, fine. Like, don't just cast us in, out of the region. Cast us into swines. They destroyed those swines. The spirits didn't die. Spirits don't drown. It was the swines that drowned. As the swine entered into the river, the spirits left and scattered again around the atmosphere. That's why when Jesus delivered that man, he didn't allow him to leave that location because he knew that the man still has work to do. The man said, I want to follow you. He said, no, stay back. These spirits have not left this region. I've stopped their oppression. They will regroup. Stay here as my representative. So you cannot conquer some areas. You will pray and do everything. It will, it will appear as though you are not called. When, when territorial powers are in operation in a location, it will appear as if God didn't call you. That's why a man of God will go outside, minister, things happen, come to his place, there's power failure. He said, there's a power there. So when I started this, time, I can see it on camera. I knew the church that was thriving here. In this location, I knew the churches that were thriving. It was hard. Hard. So I knew there were things I had to do. 40 days. How many days? I will go round. Place round. I walked down. Exceeded Nicole Barracks. We walked down. Walked down like I'm walking towards the Peshi, Gara area. I'm taking authority. 40 days. I moved around. On the 40th day, I stood at the place called AP. It was called Ajib then. And I screamed. We are free on the 40th day, praying back to back. I was like a madman. I remember the last three days, the Lord told me, say, barefoot. I didn't wear shoes. 
from 3 to 5 a.m. Ragabaga, 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 ragabaga. That's what it took me to break free from the things that limit others in the location. And there's something about it. Once you are free, others are enjoy it. What did he say? <laughs> Psalm chapter 82 from verse 5 to verse 7. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk all in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. They don't know. He said, but I have said, ye are gods. Ye all are children of the most high. But because you don't know, you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. You are gods, but because you lack the knowledge. Listen, there are what they call silent demonic operations. When they are operating in the life of persons, they are just there. You are not aware. Sometimes it will be, <laughs> they've got into a critical stage before your eyes suddenly opens that I've gotten far. Because you know not, neither will you understand. You walk on in darkness. Why does the devil love darkness? Because the, the presence of darkness, the first thing darkness does, it takes away awareness. Darkness takes away awareness. Anyone operating under the cover of darkness. All you see in darkness are images, not the real picture. So a man who, who operates under the cover of darkness is manipulative by nature. So you are not aware there are silent operations of spirits. Papa Ayo's grandfather died at 34. His father died at 34. When he got to 34, it was God that saved him. The man almost passed out. It's a pattern. Sir, I believe in the new creation realities. I preached it until I lost somebody. So I went back to go and check what am I preaching. I'm going to take a prayer. And I want, see, sir, this is not your best. There's something in you that is heavy. But there is something resisting it. You are a great person. You are royalty. But there's something resisting your fullness. Something resisting your fullness. And I saw Joshua the high priest. Standing. And Satan standing at his right hand. And the Lord said, the Lord rebuke you. Oh, Satan. What was he doing? Trying to resist him. We're going to take a prayer. Every power. Fighting hard to resist my rising. Expire! Every power. Fighting hard. To resist my rising. I'm, 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 being, I'm being county. County of my words. And careful of my words. So that some of us don't get overwhelmed. With so much information in one night. Of things we have seen. 35 years of preaching, 20 years as a ministry, we have seen things. That's the truth. We have seen things, sir. You know what 20 years is? Not 20 months. Not 20 weeks. 20 years is about 240 months. Right? But we have seen things. Sir! There are people tonight. All of a sudden, you will notice a force will bring you out of the cage. There are some of you, all those things you ate in the dream, all those nonsense, you will throw them, they will come out. Yeah, yeah. Those power leakages, those debris will come out of your system. Say, my father, my father. my father. Please, as you take this prayer with a lot of vigor, 
and a lot of vitality and a lot of energy with zeal and zest something like fire like electricity currents of power will suddenly come on you and you will notice there's a reaction let it out there's a reaction let it out because your deliverance your freedom your emancipation signs and wonders begin right now say my father my father, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. As, I pray, as I begin to pray, every power, every power resisting my rising, resisting my rising expire, 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 expire,
Jesus' name. Take care of them. Take care of them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. I want to pray for them. Bring them to me. There are ancient doors that are opening. I'm coming in the name of the Lord and I'm speaking to you. Lift up your heads, all you get. Now, I command you, be ye lifted the everlasting doors that the King of glory, that the King of glory, that the King of glory, who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord strong and mighty. Get out of her. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord strong and mighty. Come out of him. Get out of her. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. From the choir. To the pew. To the pastor stand. Every spirit. Every demon unclean spirits down to the international delegate unclean spirits in the synagogue unclean spirits in the temple I command you devil of late marriage devil of barrenness vomit it here, vomit it, leave her there vomit it leave her there, leave her vomit it vomit it vomit it that devil of hell that devil of hell back your load Pack your load. Pack your load. I command you. I command you. These signs shall follow them. In my name, they shall cast out devil, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, disappointment. Pack your load. Pack your load. Pack your load. Lord, family altar, evil pattern in the family line, maternal struggles, paternal struggles. Pack your load, come out, lose her, lose her, lose her, come out of that woman of that man come out of that girl those of you watching all our viewing centers around the world I sent fire there I sent fire there to Europe to America to Africa to Nigeria everywhere fire 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 I sent fire I sent fire there Loser in the choir. Loser in the pew. Back your load. Go! Shandegeba. Endegeba. 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 Ukeletia. Azuzada. Reparatis. Undakarate. Asoke. Lose my sister. I identify you. You are a familiar spirit. I recognize you. I command you. Come out of her. This is the daughter of God. Ought not this daughter. Who Satan has bound. All these years. Be loose infirmity. Lose her. Let her go. Turn her loose. Lady thou art loose. Woman thou art loose. Turn her loose. Turn him loose. Get out. Manifest and go. 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 Fire. Fire. Shakalaba. Brantabakus. Manifest and go. Manifest and go. Fire. Iradada yada rada yada bregada bregada bregada. I want to pray. 
I want to pray. There are, listen, there are evil pattern orchestrated decisions. There are evil altars orchestrated decisions. You will pray. Listen. I'm going to pray. When I say something from the crock and the recesses of your being, with the last breath you have, you will shout, come out in the name of Jesus. You are casting them out. And they will go to wherever they came from. Failure at the edge of breakthrough. Spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough. Aha. Deposit of the water world. Catch him. Catch that boy. Catch him. That's the water spirit coming out. Come out of him. Get out. Every marine spirit. Marine spirit. Marine deposits. All that you ate in the dream. Anything in your system. Every ungodly thing in your system. Evil coverings on your destiny. Evil family pattern. Disappointment. Spirit of delay. Spirit of delay. Spirit of delay. Spirit of delay. Spirit of delay! Spirit of delay! Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up, somebody up! Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up! Somebody up, somebody up! Spirit of delay! Somebody up, somebody up, somebody up! Spirit of delay! Spirit of delay! Spirit of delay! Spirit of delay! Spirit of the land! 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 Spirit of delay! 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 Spirit of the land! 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 
Zakoloka la barada makode Akulale la doza barale la rosa Aya Oh Oh Aya Ho Something is happening Something is happening Shatila gra ya 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 Ay, 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 ay. Aha! A couple of people I heard was uh, sick. I, when I came today in the afternoon, I saw people under the stands. So I understood that they came to register for Jehovah the doctor. And there are people like that who are sick. But there's something I know as I saw them staying there. And I turned to look at them. There's something that welled up inside of me. They call it compassion. And I knew that nobody is living here the same. Whatever the problem is, whatever disease, it has a name. So long it has a name. There's a name that is above every other name. Uh huh. Forces are broken. Evil forces are broken. Territorial forces that have resisted your advancement. 
I say, lift up your heads, oh you gates, and be lifted the everlasting doors. Those evil territorial powers today they are swallowed up in the name of Jesus. Abashata. Somebody, there's a lady I see. Your name is Ruth, and you are blind. Your eyes are just been opened now. <laughs> Ruth, blind. It's like an attack. Even your husband has an attack. He can't hear, he can't speak. God says, right now, wherever that person is, examine the person now. Their eyes are open. Now! You are sick in your body. Put your left hand. Those of you on my right hand side and who have problems. And everywhere, whether you are watching online, you are watching by television, you are sick in body. Those of you, them that were carried out here, let them remain here. I'm going to pray for them. But you are sick in body and there's an affliction, tangible, seeable, something we can see, something that if it happens now, you can be aware. Put your hands on that spot where you are hurting. Where you need a miracle, put your left hand on the spot and raise up the other hand. We have seen all kinds of miracles happen around the world. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's a miracle working God. We exercise dominion. We come against cancer, tumor, fibroids, growths, cataract, myopia. Hypermetropia, glaucoma, astigmatism, partial blindness, total blindness, paralysis of the upper limb, lower limb, stroke, sickle cell anemia, sugar diabetes, tumor, growth, fibroids, heat in the womb, tube blockage, ovarian cysts, pelvic inflammatory disease. Low sperm count. Barrenness. Skin infection. Liver sclerosis. Movement on the head. Movement around the ears. Deafness. Come out in the name of Jesus. Kidney problem. Liver sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's disease, bone conditions, blood infections, blood infections, blood infections, blood infections, blood infections, blood infection. Come out in the name of Jesus. As I begin to call the name of Jesus, whatever your sickness and disease or affliction is, it will begin to go. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name. Begin to wave your hands to the Lord. Wave your hands. Wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. Wave it. Wave it, wave it, wave it. You are healed. Jesus has touched somebody. I am telling you. I am telling you. Jesus has touched somebody. Jesus has touched somebody. Jesus has touched somebody. He has touched somebody. Wave those hands to the Father. Wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. Wave it. He has touched somebody. In the name of Jesus. Those of you in front of me here, you are free. In Jesus' name. Those who are conscious of themselves, you can let them go. But those who are not conscious of themselves, leave them on the ground. Those who are conscious, you let them go. Those who can stand, let them go. E, 
examine yourself and see what the Lord has done. Hold on, please. Examine yourself and see what the Lord has done. Right where you are. I want to lay my hands on you. You came here with a pain or a challenge and you noticed something happened to your body just now. Just now. Let me lay hands on you. Something happened just now. Raise your right hand. Something happened to you just now. Something happened. Raise your right hand. Leave your seat and come here. Something happened to you just now. Leave your seat. Don't keep me waiting. Leave your seat. Something happened just now. You felt something happen to you just now. Something happened to you just now. Leave your seat and come. Leave your seat. The anointing is so heavy, so people we have to be carried home drunk. Don't miss any of these sessions. Whether you are at home, you are watching around the world, get ready for your own testimony now. Clap your hands as they come. Clap your hands. What is that? Papa, this is a miracle. Why is your ministry just now? You get a prophetic word concerning a woman that came blind. This woman said she was blind for 10 years. As soon as you get that word, you get that word, the scale that was covering her side disappeared. She, you can see now to the glory of God. She came from Igara. From Look, Igara. The brother that led him here, that led her here. Who is, who is she to you? It's my mother in law. Your mother in law? Yes, sir. Come. Let her come. Can you touch my other hand? Touch it. Touch it. Clap your hands for the Lord. Oh. Wait. Where's the husband? The husband is in the eh? Oloma. What's wrong with him? The man is deaf and dumb. Is that what the Lord said? He said the husband is deaf and dumb. The Lord said there's somebody blind whose husband. Now, as I'm talking here too now, the husband is ears open, tongue loose. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Papa, this brother came from Spain. He said, Drop that, drop that. Drop it and come. What? His two kidneys were packed up. So he took it in faith and could not stand. Come, come. He could not walk. As soon as you prayed, the power of God came up. He said, He felt an unusual strength. God told him where he was lying. I began to walk. I see you in the Facebook. You see, you saw me where? In the Facebook. And then from there, I do the alleys in three times in a week. I spent four hours in a machine. I escaped to come. And then the doctor said, I, I, I am a sickness. I can't, the, the sick, they don't, look, they cannot do anything unless they exchange the two kidneys. The two kidneys is fake. He can't work again. And I can't work. They wanted to give me paper. So you spend four hours in the machine? Machine, three times in a week. Every week. Then I stay for three years and three months. Now. Listen. He stays in the machine four hours, three times every week. He has been doing that for three years and three months. You came from Spain because of that. Father, thank you. Thank you because he's made totally whole. Give him brand new kidneys. Brand new. He's free. Clap your hands if you brought them. Clap your hands. Shout Jesus! Come. Came from Cameroon. He registered for Jehovah the doctor because of this case. As you pray, something left. What happened? Papa, 
This is another miracle. This brother said, Come. he came from Bayasa. He You're said, last year, during Jesus a governorship did. election, there was an argument where they were do, during the election, and somebody came and held his hand. And as soon as the person turned, the hand became paralyzed. And since then, he could not leave the hand. But after you pray, like, the power of God touches, God touches his hand, look at him. Doing what he could not do since last year with the hand. Come. Jesus is the Son of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. He arose. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jesus is the Son of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. He arose. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh hallelujah. He arose. The King of Kings arose. Hallelujah, he arose. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Hallelujah, he arose. The, the prince of Israel. Hallelujah, he arose. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Father, thank you because your son is healed. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands for the Lord. Growth just disappeared as he prayed. Growth. Two years. She said people around her saw the growth. Put in my air. I showed my neighbor death immediately. When you are praying, I said, put your hand. And she touched it. As that thing now moved, and others, I told my neighbor, I said, put your hand again. She shouted immediately. She's Wh there. She's why, is there. The, why is the neighbor? She's there. She's there. I showed Come. her. I showed her. We can see you can heal. We can see your miracles. Jehovah the doctor. You will heal today. Jehovah the doctor. What happened? When we were sitting after the prayers, no, before the prayers, she told me that she was having growth. And she asked me to touch it. Then I touched it. You felt it? Yes. And it was very big. Then after the prayers, then she touched it and said it has disappeared. And when I touched it, it was no longer there. Jehovah the doctor. He... Papa, she touched it and she shouted, Jesus, what is that? I said, that is what I saw in my stomach. Immediately, I heard cam cam and I didn't I this. You had cam cam? Yes. She had cam cam. Cam cam. Jehovah the doctor. Healer. Healer. Jehovah the doctor, I know you will heal today. Jehovah the doctor, healer, healer. Clap your hands for the Lord. Pop. Oh, oh. Give him a microphone. Who is taking his testimony? Papa, sir. Shh. Who is taking his testimony? Who brought him here? Pick him up. Can you bring your voice down without the mic? Bring him. Touch. Touch. Whatever God has not planted, Father, in your son, pick him up. Father, this is your son. It's your servant. Expunge and expel every deposit. From his life. And give him a new season. Touch. Touch him. Touch him. The hand of the Lord set you free. Glory. 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 
glory, glory on this life. Ooh. Mm. Ma, step back a bit. Step back a bit. Let fresh fire fall upon him. Now, fresh. Bring him. Pick them up. Pick them up. Bring them. Touch. Bring them there. I am so blessed. you need to hear this. Papa, this woman, the father died of stroke. Usher's come. Come. Pastor, come. Usher's come. Just come. Just come. Don't worry. Just come. Don't worry. When you stay around an anointing, you should be the first beneficiary of the anointing. When you stay around an anointing, Leave them, leave them, leave them. What are you doing? Leave them. Papa, you need to hear this. Papa, this woman, the father died of stroke. Who is this? Go away. Where are you going? I said, leave them alone. What happened? Papa, years ago, the father died of stroke. The mother died of stroke. And she noticed since 2010, she has been having the same sign with the stiffness of the leg. As soon as she began to address patterns, Papa, she said she felt a release. Why am I seeing glory on all of you among, around those taking testimonies? Those of you taking testimonies, I just saw a fire. Touch! My desire. Fresh glory. In the name of Jesus. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Glory. The Lord told me when I was praying, He said, In your 20th anniversary, I, I will sit on the building. So He's seated. Yeah. Oh. Oh. For some, it's a breakthrough. For some others, it's open doors. For some others, it's a new beginning. You traveled all the way down to receive an impartation. All the foreign delegates, Father, I'm asking, make them drunk. 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 Take it! Make them drunk. What happened? Papa, sir, this is amazing. 12 years ago,
Guapa. Ai, ai. Lift your hands. There are, there are gifts you had but lost. There are gifts and connections you, you had. But as you traveled into time, you lost them. Look at restoration now. There's an awakening. An awakening. An overflow. Spiritual deposits. Impartations of graces. Wealth. Insights. Depths. Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Things are happening. Things are happening. 
Aya. Ah. Things are happening. There are impartations. There are impartations. There are impartations. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you. Jesus, hold me close to your embrace. Take me deeper, deeper than I've ever found before. I just want to love you more. How long to be deeper? Just wave your hands and just thank him. Thank him. Thank him. There is an anointing here that I don't know. If we don't step out now, we may not be able to leave. I, I, I'm telling you, God is in the building. And he said to me, he's going to be seated, seated in the building throughout this meeting. That's what he told me when I was praying. What will you do, Lord? What do we expect? He said, I will sit in the building. I will sit. That any petition, any desire, any demand will be granted. Sit in the building. Wave your hands and just thank him. Thank you. We can't even take, we can't even take testimonies. We can't. We, we can't take more testimonies. Just, just wave those hands. Wave those hands. That which the Lord has deposited and dropped in you, you begin to manifest it. You will see the finger of God at work in your life. In the course of this meeting, some shall see angels. He just said to me, there shall be angelic visitations. Angelic encounters. Angelic visitation. Angelic encounters. Shatatata. Briakaposata. There's a surgery going on inside somebody. Something is falling out of your body. Just thank him. Thank him. Lord, we love you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, under this atmosphere, get an offering. Get an offering. Just don't move around. Just get an offering under this atmosphere. What is that? Get up. He Sataraya. Vanakodia balakodia balakodia da bakala Eba manaso de la barage ta da bakala da shizi Iba lara koda bili kalasuda barakata Tataras Lift it up 
and begin to make declarations. Those of you watching on Nola Satellite Churches, make sure you give an offering. Something is happening. Encounters are betting. A breakthrough is brooding. Go ahead and make declarations on your offering now. People are getting mantles. Mantles. Go ahead and make declarations on the offering in your hands. Make declaration. I can hear you pray. 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 Lord, this mountain, I've come to meet with you. I've come to meet with you. Pray. Please drop, drop your offering, please. Drop your offering. Just look for a bowl close to you. If there is an usher close to you, drop your offering, please. We'll be here tomorrow morning by 9. We'll be here tomorrow morning by 9 a.m. So please inform somebody. Ebenezer has started already. Are you blessed at all tonight? I said, are you blessed at all tonight? Please make sure you drop your offering, please. Drop your offering. Look for a boat close to you, even if there is no usher close to you. Let's stand, please. Let's stand. Let's stand. Don't leave the hall without dropping your offering, please. Don't leave the hall without dropping your offering. Make sure you drop your offering. Even if there is no usher close to you, look for the offering bowl. Look for the offering bowl. Just lift your hands and just thank God for that which you have received. Just thank God. Just lift your hands and thank him. Thank him for that which you have received. It will be permanent. 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 Put your hands on your head and let's close. Say my head is a good head. My life is a good one. Angels shall fight for me. Victory is on my side. So shall it be. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow by 9 a.m.